way back in 2021, I made my Minecraft Hardcore World. And in that time, I built some absolutely amazing things. So in honor of this amazing milestone, we're gonna relive all the memories with a Minecraft movie. My fourth one, to be exact. But for now, kick back, relax, and enjoy the journey of how I achieved 5,000 days in Minecraft Hardcore. Minecraft has a lot of different mobs, and some of them are so rare that they're almost impossible to find. But in case you guys forgot, I am the hardcore king. And if there's something rare in Minecraft, I need to have it. So today, we're gonna collect all of Minecraft's rarest mobs and make a giant museum for them. All in Minecraft hardcore. I can't envision one thing going wrong today. <laughs> It's gonna be perfect. Okay, so first up on the list is... The Flying Pig. Well, I guess my editor lied in the intro about the flying pig. But let's get serious. We got a big day ahead of us. So for this plan to work, we had to make a list of all of the rarest mobs. Rarest mobs in Minecraft. Ooh, it's my video. Minecraft has a lot of mobs in it. So many, in fact, there are probably some you don't even know exist. I forgot how cringe I used to be. Ugh. But after a little more research, I compiled a color-coded list of all the rare mobs I wanted to capture. So first up on the agenda, we're going for what I like to call the classic mobs. And the first guy I'm looking for is the pink sheep. Ah! Ah, oh, it's a pig. <gasps> oh, it's more pigs. Why can't you fly? I have a feeling this might get really annoying. <laughs> According to the internet, pink sheep have a 0.16% chance of spawning, so they're really rare, but we can't make a rare mob museum without the pink sheep because it's been in the game since 2011. I am old. Oh my gosh, guys, I found, I found a pink sheep. Ignore my inventory, I found one. Yeah, I kind of cheated. Listen, my goal is to find the majority of these mobs today naturally, but you know, if I can't find them, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't got all day for this. Well, I do, but I, I don't want to spend all day looking for pink sheep. Sorry, buddy. And that is one mob down. And it's a good thing it's nighttime because the other classic mob I want to find is the spider jockey, which as you guys probably know, only spawns at night. Oh, spider. Spider jockey. Wait, no way. No way. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that's a good sign for today. Just keep coming this way and don't murder me, please. Oh, I probably need a name tag for this guy too. Uh, do I have any name tags on me? Please, 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 please. I don't think I do. All right, you stay there. Don't move. I'll be right back. Spider jockey. Boom. Please, 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 please. Guys, I think our spider jockey is gone. I'm also covered in arrows right now. Oh man. Dang it. But after much diligence and patience. Why is this so difficult? Mm. I finally found another spider jockey. <gasps> another one, another one, another one. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Armor on. Okay, we're good. Take the name tags, both of you, and you're trapped in a cave. Yes. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. What is wrong with you, Mr. Spider? No, Mr. Spider. No, uh, what is wrong with you? Why? Why would he do that? I don't like this video anymore. So we had a problem. We're only two mobs in. Two mobs. One of them's dead and the other one isn't even real. So I was gonna need some help. And then he crawled up to the roof and he, he killed the skeleton. I don't know what to do anymore. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, I think I got it. I can't go chasing after the mobs. I gotta lure the mobs to me. Aw, oh, this is gonna be good. So my original plan was to capture all the mobs and stick them in some boring old museum. But what if I made a place so amazing, so irresistible that all the mobs would have to come and live here? Like a five-star hotel. Plus, I've always wanted to build a hotel in this world, so let's do it. Why not? So I began collecting a ton of sandstone and birch wood and brought it back to the beach to begin building this hotel. So we're gonna do some of this and a little bit of this. And if we're feeling fancy, maybe we even added a little balcony right here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Now we just gotta raise this whole thing up like 20 more levels. Let's get to work. And as I build this luxurious hotel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Introducing the Rare Mob Inn, an extraordinary hotel for Minecraft's least ordinary mobs. But would you just look at this place? It looks so cool. There's tons of floors and the rooms are 
empty, but they all have very cool balconies. Like, look at these views. And I even took the liberty to get the mobs in here. So we got the pink sheep. Nope, don't, don't leave. Stay. You're gonna like it. And I even got a new spider jockey. Hello. But check it out. If you put trap doors on the roof, the skeleton won't even suffocate. So problem solved. Oh, is someone jealous you don't get to stay in the cool hotel? Well, I don't blame you. This place is sick. Okay, on we go. So next up on our list, we have the cute mobs. And these are quite simply really rare mobs that I think are adorable. First up, the brown mushroom. And lucky for us, I actually already have one over here at my mushroom mansion. Come on, where is he? Where's the man of the hour? Hello? Well, this is not great. Because the only way to get a brown mushroom is to strike a mushroom with lightning. But it's currently sunny out. Where did he go? Oh, I totally forgot. I made a giant zoo and I think he's in here. Aha, uh -huh, there you are, my king. Come with me. We're leaving this gross, disgusting place. We're going to a fine, fancy establishment. Come on, jump out of the water. Come on, you got it. You got it. Uh, well... That was not part of the plan. All right, come on. We're praying for the good genes. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! We have a newborn child. Come with me. Say goodbye to daddy. Come on, up this way. Nice and safe. And perfect. There you go, buddy. Welcome to your new luxury home. Oh, no. I gave him the view of the giant burger. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, that's terrible. But carrying on, we're heading back to the zoo because the second cute mob I want to add is the brown panda bear. And once again, your boy is big brain because I have panda bears over here and you get the brown panda by actually breeding these guys. Yeah, I think that's accurate. Okay, let's do it. I'm just gonna borrow some of this bamboo right here and eat it and breed. Make babies. Okay, you're not what I want. You're also not very good at your balance, are you? It's all in the hips, my boy. It's all in the hips. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? So yeah, I spent a long time breeding pandas. Like, a long time. Time. Snotty, sad, strawberry jammy, or is that his tongue? This is my life now. But finally, after about 20 more minutes, we found what we were looking for. <gasps> the brown panda! I didn't even notice him until right now! Get out of the way, my child! Come here! Oh, I can't put him on a lead, can I? Well, I'm gonna have to go with plan B. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? All right, get in the boat. Yes, I got him. Now just to find a way to get him out of here. And right this way, buddy. We're getting out of here. Easy peasy. Oh my gosh, wait. Won't this guy just follow me if I have bamboo in my hand? Why do I make my life so difficult sometimes? All right, follow me. Oh my, you guys just see that? As soon as bro got in the door, he just grew up. Well, all right, have some bamboo and stay a while. And for our final cute mob, we're going after the Arctic Fox. Now, as far as I'm aware, the Arctic Fox is not super hard to find. The only reason they're so rare is that they only spawn in one specific biome, the snowy forest. Okay, we're on the right path. This is my gingerbread house slash Christmas area. And I think there's a giant snowy forest right here. Now we just stay on the lookout. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Come hither. Get on the leash. Yeah. And take a name tag. Boom. Oh, nope. Why are you in the water? You mobs are so stupid sometimes. It hurts my brain, but okay, whatever. Just get out and get your Arctic butt in the portal. Oh, don't play this game, please. You're so much faster than me. I, I, want, uh, I got you. This is such a difficult episode. <laughs> And that is it for the cute mobs. They may be cute, but they were really annoying. And before heading out for our next set of mobs, I had the great idea of decorating all the mobs' rooms to look like their home biome. Aha, the perfect two painting. I'm such a good hotel owner. But let's not get too confident because now it's time for the dangerous mobs. And as their title would suggest, these are rare mobs that are extremely dangerous to come across. First up, the charged creeper. And as you guys might already know, the only way to get a charged creeper is to have one get struck by lightning. So we're gonna have to summon a rainstorm. And there's only one way I know how. Oh, Mr. Cloud. Make it rain. I will fight you. Make it rain. Urgh! I command rain. This isn't working. So instead, I had to sit there and wait for the rain to come to me. 
Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. I gotta get my shulker box and I gotta take out my trident with channeling. Oh, yeah. Well, how about these apples? I am so powerful. Oh, Mr. Creeper. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. I gotta give him a name tag too. How am I gonna do this? I got him. Oh, it worked. Okay, now just come this way. Zombies, please stop. Please get out of the way. You're gonna blow everything up. Well, we call them the dangerous mobs for a reason. Come up this way. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Close the door. Okay, we got him. We got him. I don't think that room is getting decorated anytime soon, but the creeper will be fine. Oh boy. I don't think it can get any more dangerous than that, which is probably a good thing. And after that, our next mob was a skeleton horse, which normally spawned. Oh, 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 oh. I swear to you guys, I did not know this was here. You're gonna think I cheated. I did not cheat. Oh my gosh, we're so lucky. Then immediately after that, we found an even rarer mob. Come on, get up here. Oh my gosh, that is a zombie wearing full diamond armor. I don't actually know how rare he is, but he'll make a fine addition to our collection. Just gotta give these guys some names tags and we'll carefully bring them home ow 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 oh don't you even think about it and welcome to your room and if you'll just allow me to decorate in peace then i can make you a magical hotel room okay take care now from this point on things were actually looking pretty easy i went to heal up my tools get some more name tags and start digging underground it's time to find the cave dwellers i got myself a silverfish and a giant slime why are there so many children around Around me. Oh, I hate this game. Oh. But there was still one really important cave mob I still needed to get. And don't you dare say the warden. I've already done that. I am not doing that again. We gotta find the legendary blue axolotl. I am not looking forward to this one. So funny story. I've actually already tried to get this mob in the past. And it did not go very well. Yeah, guys, I don't think we're gonna get one today. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. So hopefully our luck is a little bit better today. But the plan here is actually pretty simple. First, we just gotta go find a lush cave, which luckily is right underneath this brick factory. If we fly down here, hello there. And now we just gotta find some axolotls to breed. I'll be taking you and I'll be taking you. Oh, my bow broke. Dang it. But anyways, now all we gotta do is make a little home for these axolotls, which can go right here, I suppose. Good. And now very simply, we get a bunch of fish and we breed the axolotls over and over. Everybody, cross your fingers. Come on, Minecraft. Give it to me on the first try. Please, 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 please. Oh, stupid, disgusting baby. You're not blue. And as you can probably imagine, we had to repeat this process for many, many hours. And I'll save you some time here. It literally took the entire night. <gasps> we got him. Is that who I think it is? Stop moving. Give me, please. Oh, it is. It's the blue axolotl. Oh my goodness. That took way too long. See you later, alligator. Nice. I also have the feeling this guy's gonna die if I don't put water in this room. So hopefully this doesn't look too silly. I don't really care anymore. This project is taking way too long, but it's gonna be so worth it. I hope. But with the blue axolotl out of the way, it was time for us to head out and tackle the nether mobs, which actually went surprisingly well. Oh, Bastion, I'm looking for a piglin brute. Oh, target acquired. Yes, come to Farzy. Oh. Well, that didn't work. Or did it? I think he went through the portal. Ah, oh, he did, but not in the way I wanted him to. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. What is that noise? Hello? Bro, you gotta be quiet. Like, come on. That is ridiculously loud. Two more noise complaints and you're evicted. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Well, I do both. Now we're on the hunt for some striders, but not just any strider. Jackpot. The ever elusive strider riding another strider. Hey guys, come here. I got fungus. That sounds gross. Gentle gentle and take a saddle and let me on ah oh, how about now boom are we good how do i get him to move go mush remember when i said this was going surprisingly well yeah i lied well i'm kind of stuck here now ah! 
Mush, mush, mush. I have no totem either. No. All right, forget it. I guess we just got to use a normal strider then. Uh, it's not the same. And for our last nether mob, I was going to do a ghast, but for my mental sanity, I'm probably going to skip this one. How about a cute little magma cube instead? Get... Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Please get in the boat. Okay, well, I guess we can't do that one either. Ah! I'm fine. I'm having a great time right now. <laughs> now, up to this point, we've been working on this project for over 100 Minecraft days. But that being said, we were finally down to our final four mobs. We'll call these guys the other mobs. And you might be the perfect guy to start this party. So we captured a phantom, an ocelot, and a bat. <sighs> Why? I don't think this is possible. All right, forget you. I'm sick of it. I'm replacing the bat with a B. Problem solved. And just like that, we're down to our very last mob. And I definitely saved the best for last. I just gotta find a village. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, where is he? I'm looking for the legendary green robed villager, aka the Nimwit. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I think they're actually pretty rare. I don't see them very often ever. So this might require a little bit of traveling. Wah! So so many villager occupations, but no nimwits. I don't know why I'm getting so mad today, because I knew what the video was about. I'm just really impatient. But still, nothing. <gasps> Are you a nimwit? Get up, get up, get up. Can I trade with you? No, you're a nimwit. Let's go. I found you, my boy. Now get in the boat. I'm taking you to a magical place. No, 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 no. Are you a nimwit or an MLG Call of Duty player? Just get in the boat. Boat. Yes. And we're out of here. See you later, losers. I underestimated how far we have to travel back home. Must persevere. It's the last mob. Keep going, Farzy. And... Where are you going? Go back to your room. Oh. Were you trying to tell me something? I just realized we have two more rooms to do. Can you go back to your room, please? Thank you. He's actually kind of smart sometimes. Ah, but okay. Final two rooms. And after that, that'll be all our residents. So I quickly grabbed a turtle and the rarest mob of them all. The chicken scientist. Hello there, Broderick. Come with me. All right, fine. I'm just kidding. But you're a smart guy. What do you think the last mob should be for my hotel? That was hurtful, Broderick. I guess we'll just use a mule or something and call it a day. And after adding some more details to the interior, we were officially done with the hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap on today's episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. I love the ocean in Minecraft. It's filled with tons of beautiful creatures, gorgeous coral reefs, and whatever this thing is. So I've decided I want to live there. So today, I'm gonna build an absolutely insane underwater castle made entirely out of ocean-themed blocks. All in Minecraft hardcore. I've had some wild ideas in this world, but this one might be the craziest. So let's grab some fireworks and let's get to work. So our first step in this journey is to go find the perfect ocean. After all, this entire build will be underwater. Eh, too shallow. Eh, too gravelly. Ooh, an ocean monument. I'll be back for you guys later. See ya. But then I found the perfect location. This could be perfect. It's a nice sandy ocean. It looks kind of deep enough. I think this area will suffice. And since we were gonna be here for a while, I grabbed some materials and made a little base camp at the shore of our ocean. Welcome to Farzee's Ocean Tent. It may not be the biggest place in the world, but it definitely gets the job done. And by the job, I mean a place to sleep. But okay, let's get to work. So first up on the agenda, I want to do a little bit of terraforming down here so the land is a little bit flatter and easier to build upon. And as a matter of fact, it might be a great day to have a trident. Yeah. Yeah. Where was I? Oh yeah, terraforming. I don't know why, but this looks so beautiful to me. Cut the singing part. <laughs> It's like underwater snow. So beautiful. And just a few more blocks. And there we go. A giant open land underground for us to build our castle upon. It is now officially building time. So my plan for this underwater base is to make a giant castle on the ocean floor. And the only way to enter the castle is through a hidden entrance on a custom island above the water. And I'm thinking we should probably make the island first because we have a whole bunch of sand now. So let's do it. Let me 
me just place down some sand and bring it up to the surface. Perfect. Now we're gonna take out some sandstone and expand this thing into an islandy kind of shape. Good. Minus all the mobs here. Please go away. And now just to place down a bunch of sand and make it look like a real island. And as I do this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And now just to add some palm trees for a little extra detail. And I think I like it. We got two small palm trees and they look pretty darn good. The only weird thing is from far away, the island kind of looks like it's floating in the air. So that might take a little getting used to, but besides that, it is perfect. Oh, and I almost forgot. I got to make a trap door system to get down to the actual castle. So I guess I'll just make a a hole right here and put a trap door down. And eh, this is kind of boring. Wait, hold on. I think I might have a pretty cool idea. Just need a little bit of this. And voila! A little mini castle right in the middle of the island. But I think it looks pretty nice. And most importantly, it's kind of like a hint of what's going to be underneath the water. A giant castle, except much cooler than this. I like it. It's so much darker down here. And there's so many of you annoying drowned mobs. Hua. Oh my gosh, I don't don't have a totem right now. That could have been really bad. I'll be right back. And that's much better. Pardon me. Okay, bye. Now, since we are building an underwater base, the main block I'm going to be using is coral. And since I'm lazy, I looked up if I could make a coral farm. I don't think there is a coral farm in the game. So we had to go do things the old fashioned way. Oh, Mr. Coral Ree. Let's try it again. Oh, Mr. Coral Reef, where are you? I don't see anything yet. Oh, come on. There's got to be one somewhere. Please show me one. I am getting upset right now. Oh. Welp, my elytra broke. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned, old-fashioned way. And even though it took a little longer than expected, we finally found a coral reef. What? The... Oh, wait a second. I know where I am. That's my pillager castle over there. And guess what? There's a coral reef right in front of it. This is gonna be perfect. Okay, how do I break coral? Is it a pickaxe? Is it a shovel? No. An axe? A hoe? No. How do you break this fast? I guess this is the fastest I can break coral. Well, this is gonna be annoying because I want to get like a lot of stacks of every kind of color. So yeah, this is gonna be so painful. <laughs> but putting my anger aside, I sucked it up and collected as much coral as I possibly could. No, dolphin, stop. They're taking my block. Stop it. Oh, wait. Big brain idea. I go like this and I go like this and I take this and aha, would you check it out? We got a chest boat. I'm so much smarter than dolphins. Kids, stay in school. You never know when it'll come in handy. Well, all right, let's get into this thing. So first off, we're gonna need a giant outline of the castle so I know what I'm actually doing here. So we're gonna make a giant rectangle in the middle and turn it a little bit this way. And I guess from here, we can kind of expand off this shape. So put like another room over here. I hate building underwater because I keep almost dying. And just a few more blocks. You know what? Yeah, I can kind of see the vision here. We got the main entrance here. We have two side rooms, a big room in the middle, and two small tower spots in the back. Now we just got to raise this whole thing up and make it actually look like a building. But before we raise the walls too high, I had a realization. We need to remember, I want this castle to look good and not trash. So I decided to do some experimenting with my coral and make a cool gradient design for the castle. I kind of like this gradient of like red to purple to pink. It's like a nice like darker to lighter kind of thing. But if I'm gonna pull it off, I'm gonna need some more materials. And first up on my list, I think some colored wool might be a very good touch. Thank you very much. And if we have any, I would love some concrete. Oh, yes, we do. Absolutely perfect. Oh, it happened again. <laughs> Why does this keep happening to me? It's all your fault, stupid pig. And the baby too. I hate taking accountability. But carrying on, I put all these new blocks to use by raising up the castle walls, making this amazing gradient pattern. I can't tell if I'm really good or really bad at this, but it's coming along. Kinda. Would you knock it off? Ooh, copper. But okay, this is looking pretty good. We got the red at the bottom, goes to magenta, goes to pink. I'm not really sure what to do after that. I might do like some yellow or some blue or just like redo the texture, but uh, this is a really good start. And I guess the door can go right here. And essentially we walk into this main room here, then we're gonna have five more rooms off of that and we'll put a bunch of cool things in each room that's kind of like ocean themed. No squid allowed. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Well, I do, but I like my rules. Oh, hey. 
Hey, Dolphin, you guys can stay. I like you guys. Mwah. But before we continue building, I kept almost drowning. I hate building underwater, man. So frustrating. So I had a small side quest to take care of. Okay, how do I... Hello? Why are you in my tent? Oh, no, he despawned. So tragic. <laughs> That was a funny noise. So how do I make one of those underwater beacon things? Underwater? What is it called? Ah, conduit. I knew that. I was just I was just testing you guys. Conduit. I need nautilus shells and a heart of the sea. Which would be really easy to get if I could fly home, but you know, my elytra are completely broken right now. So yet again today, we gotta go do things the old-fashioned way. That seems to be the theme of today's video. So step one, let's find a heart of the sea. And since I'm such a big brain, Minecrafter, I know I can find one in a buried treasure after finding a shipwreck. Oh, and looky there, that's a shipwreck. All right, Mr. Shipwreck, what do you have for me? Please be unlooted, please be unlooted, please be unlooted. Please let me in too. I'm too big for this. I hate this game. And nothing except for a suspicious stew. Superpower, superpower, superpowers. What happened? I guess nothing. What about in here? Oh, buried treasure. Yes, yes, yes. We are on the right path. Oh my gosh, there's so many drowned around me, but I think we're just about here. Can you knock it off? My gosh, man. I'm just trying to make a YouTube video. So let's dig a little bit. Come on. Show the hardcore king what he's looking for. For the love of Peter Pan, back away. I don't think this chest actually exists. <gasps> How is that fair? It's under gravel. Stupid game. Oh, I don't care though because we have a heart of the sea. Oh, and water breathing potions. Please give those to me. Yum, 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 yum. And we're out of here. Weirdo. But next up on the agenda, we do need some Nautilus shells, which I think these guys do drop on rare occasion. So I'm going to enjoy this very much. Spoiler alert, I did not enjoy it. Forget this, I'm just flying back home to get the shells. Thank you very much. And if I recall correctly, I just gotta surround this thing in prismarine. Oh, it's doing something crazy. I think it's working. Okay, we're good. Now we can get back to building in peace. But in addition to raising up all the walls here, I also wanna add in some cool watchtowers because I feel like most castles have watchtowers. And I'm thinking maybe we try using yellow coral. I don't know why I choose this color, but it's just, it's different. It's bright. And I think it might look pretty cool if we do it correctly. I don't think that's even. Excuse me. All right. Looking better already. And we're just going to keep bringing this all the way up better. And now we're just going to put some spikes on top, like how most castles do. It's... It, it's all right. It could use some more details later on, but I think the general shape is pretty good. Now, at this point, I felt like I had a pretty strong foundation for the castle. So I flew back over and got a ton more coral. And then I began raising up the walls, adding even more towers, and making the whole castle a little bit more defined. Uh, I'm getting the feeling this castle is not gonna fit under the island. Oh, this thing's gonna be a really tight squeeze right here. But that's a problem for later. I'm a little bit preoccupied right now. Oh, you guys can go underwater? Weirdo. But ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a pretty sick looking castle right now. I threw in some blue coral, topped it off with some red coral, and added a giant yellow tower right here in the back. I also did end up moving the island because it was completely in the way, which is kind of annoying, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But before I carry on, there's still a few final exterior details I want to add into this thing, like making this tower look a little prettier. So we're gonna pop in some windows. Maybe use some prismarine to add like some extra block details. And most importantly, how can you have a watchtower without an amazing flag on top of it? And I think we're gonna use coral for this. Additionally, I'm also gonna add some coral gardens using coral on top of sand. And after a few more subtle details, we have this thing. And I just gotta say, bone meal on the coral is an amazing touch. I'd say the exterior is 100% complete. So up to this point, we've collected collected a ton of materials and built an amazing castle. But now here comes the fun part. It's time to move in. So the plan here is actually very simple. If I'm gonna live in here, I need to remove all the water from the inside of the castle. And what's the one block used to get rid of water in Minecraft? Sponges. I think you guys get the idea here. Okay, we're gonna be very diligent about this. Nice and careful. Hello, any sponges in here? Oh, I found gold. Not what I want, but I'll take it. <gasps> yes, Jack. Pot. Ah! 
Welp, I now have mining fatigue. Pardon me one moment. If I can just find a cow somewhere, I can get milk and get rid of this thing. Do you guys produce milk? I don't want to find out. Aha! I see a cow. Do I have any buckets on me? Oh, I don't. Ah, I can't pick this back up now. Oh, Mr. Village, please have some iron for me. Anything? Oh. I am so sorry to do this, Mr. Iron Golem, but... <sighs> Sorry, I'm sorry. And jackpot. Operation Sponges is back on track. And just to be safe, he's coming with me. We're going back in. Bingo. And we're out of here. Get out of the boat. So I guess we just throw these in the furnace to dry them off. Good, good. And let the madness begin. Wait, every time I place a sponge, the water just comes back. Bro, is this not the purpose of a sponge? Come on! I just don't understand. So, it was time for plan B. Live underwater for real. So, after cleaning up my mess and getting more materials, it was time to begin decorating. Okay, so first up, we have the entrance. And to be honest, there's not too much to do in here because we have a giant conduit in the middle of the room, but we can definitely spice this place up with, like, some archways to go into the rooms. Kinda like this. I also idiotic brought carpets and paintings with me, but these aren't gonna work underwater. Maybe they will. I guess paintings do work underwater. Well, okay. Don't mind if I do. The more you know. Here's another thought. Since I can't do too much on the inside here, I could put some like cool grand thing up on front of the entrance. Wait for it. I think I have an idea. I'm gonna make two giant like crab claws crossing over here. So I think I go like this and make the knuckle part right here and the thumb. Uh, that is, that is not what I had in mind. <laughs> Maybe scrap that idea. Ooh, I could try like a trident. I do have the prismarine for it. Just need a little bit of this. I think it looks pretty good, right? It's similar enough. Yeah, I don't know anymore. What's going on here, Mr. Conduit Power? Is there something under ground here? I'm really confused right now. Oh my gosh, it's Broderick. Hello, Broderick. How you doing? Kids, you didn't hear that. I'm just kidding. That was Broderick's stunt double. But carrying on into our first real room, I want to make like an underwater armory. And very simply, we're going to make a whole bunch of barrels to contain underwater gear like fishing rods or tridents or boats. Okay, so we make it nice and pretty, smack a whole bunch of barrels around, and fill it up with tridents. Are you holding a trident and a nautilus shell? And you're a baby? You are one accomplished child. Oh yeah. Aw, no trident. Eh, forget the trident. I'll settle for the fishing rods. Aw, oh, they don't stack? I'm getting sick and tired of the ocean right now. And done. Easy peasy. Now for our next room, I actually had the plan of making this kind of like a transportation room for like boats or something like that. But after some further consideration, I have a much, much, much better idea. Whose kid is that? Carrying on. Okay, so if you didn't know, if you go near a dolphin, you get this thing called Dolphin's Grace, where you swim really, really fast and take damage? Stupid puffer fish! But my plan is, if I can put a lead on this dolphin, I can get Dolphin's Grace wherever I go and have fast underwater transportation forever. Like, look at this. I'm absolutely flying through the ocean. Oh, I think I lost him. So, I'm gonna be the first ever Minecrafter to make a dolphin stable. Hey, put that down. Give it, give it, give it to me. This is so overpowered. All right, gentlemen, right this way. Come in here. And we're gonna put down a fence and tie you up and give you some nice decorations that you might appreciate. Wait, do dolphins need air? Okay, just in case, why don't we put some signs here and sponge? Yeah, that'll work, I think. Oh, that's not a good sign. Uh, uh. Dolphins, no, stop. Stop playing with the lead. You're gonna die. I'll figure this out later. But carrying on, I spent the rest of my night decorating more rooms for the castle. I made a beautiful master bedroom, a fisherman-themed kitchen, and most importantly, I saved my dolphins. How in the world? I guess these guys can spawn in the middle of the ocean. Interesting. But ladies and gentlemen, this place is looking absolutely 
absolutely wonderful. We got decorations, we got decor, we got everything except for one final room right here. And this should be the most obvious room yet because there's only one thing we're missing in this castle. Just gotta break out the floor and we cover the floor in a bunch of wool. Boom, 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 and boom. Introducing Farzee's underwater disco room, which if you ask me, warrants a special kind of celebration. Disco break! Oh, that felt good. And for one final detail, I thought it'd be pretty cool to add in a few more islands on the surface of the water. And we are done. Guys, this has been a very stressful and kind of frustrating build, but we are finally done and it looks so good. But that being said, I don't see any more underwater builds in my future anytime soon. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. Minecraft 1.20 is finally here. And even though a lot of people think the update is lacking a little bit? I disagree. This update added one of the most unique and interesting mobs in Minecraft history. The Sniffer. Oh man, I thought it was me. And I'm not gonna lie, they look absolutely adorable. So today, we're gonna adventure out into the wilderness, find a bunch of Sniffers, and build a gigantic Sniffer city. All in Minecraft hardcore. I'm so excited it's update day. Let's go. So, if we're gonna build a magical Sniffer city, the first step has to be finding some sniffer eggs, I think. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know much about this update. But what I do know is if I wanna find sniffer eggs, I need to make a brush. So we got copper, we need some sticks, and one feather. And if we slap these all together, we get... Nothing? Or is it like that? Or this? There we go. We get a brush. Oh my gosh, I can clean things in Minecraft finally. It is about time. This place is absolutely covered in dust and pollen and dirt. Nasty. But all jokes aside, this brush is gonna come in very handy for finding some sniffer eggs. So I repaired my elytra, got some fireworks, and began adventuring out into the wilderness. I can't even begin to describe how excited I am for this. Oh, I love Minecraft updates. Ah. Uh, Ah, the chunks are loading in slower, which might mean these are new chunks. Mew. So as I understand it, the only way to find a sniffer egg is to go underwater in these new chunks and try and dig using our brush. So, okay, let's get to brushing. Is this supposed to take this long? Something is not right here. So I hopped on the internet and after about five minutes of research, I realized I'm an idiot. Oh, okay, so I'm not looking for sand like this. I'm I'm looking for a very special kind of sand called suspicious sand, which apparently can only be found in ocean ruins. Like this one right here. Oh, our luck is amazing. Okay, any suspicious sand around here? I don't know what it looks like, but it's supposed to be suspicious. Uh... Oh, that looks cool. Is that it? <gasps> I think that's it. We got wheat. So I'm assuming not all suspicious sand has sniffer eggs. Well, this might take a little bit longer than I planned. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was gonna segue away, but that looks like a sniffer egg. It's red and it's green. Ermagerd, we got one. A sniffer egg. And we got an achievement. And I'm dying. Oh, air. <sighs> Well, all right, let's keep digging. No, no, I've only found three sand and I have two eggs now. Oh my gosh. I thought they were supposed to be rare. I love this game so much. So yeah, I continued brushing away all the suspicious sand until I found as many sniffer eggs as I possibly could. Oh no, don't end my world. Armor, 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 armor. I just up there, don't do this now. Stupid orphan. Okay, after about four of those underwater ruins, we have found four sniffer eggs, some nuggets, some random tools, and whatever these things are. Pottery shirt. I do wonder, can I craft anything with this? Uh... Ooh, a decorated pot. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know about that. Oh, snap. Wait, can I put like plants in it? Oh, this could be a game changer? I guess I can't. Oh, well, still pretty cool. But carrying on, let's go hatch some sniffer eggs. Now, as far as I'm aware, I have no responsibility to stay out in these new chunks, so I think we can make the sniffer city somewhere around my base. And for you, my dearest pot, we will put you right here on full display. Oh, would you look at that? You're so pretty. And we go to sleep. But all right, next up on the agenda, we gotta figure out how to hatch these stupid giant dinosaur eggs. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've never actually 
used these before, so do I, like, throw... You don't throw it. You place it? And I assume it'll just hatch? Oh, wait, can I not break this? Uh... Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we're good. So why don't we fly out somewhere nice and safe? Like, perhaps over here, right in front of our giant sniffer statue. And we're gonna go boom, 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 and boom. And now, we wait. And as we watch the miracle of life, please subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, this is not doing anything. But I did do some more Googling, and I found out if I put moss underneath these eggs, they grow faster. I am a genius. Now, grow. It's not what I meant. Grow. Yo. Oh, they're cracking. <gasps> oh, it's the miracle. It's happening. Mom, get the camera. Come on, get the perfect shot. It may have been a false alarm. I think they have multiple cracking stages. <laughs> what? <laughs> what am I watching right now? Okay, back to waiting. Oh my gosh, the Snifflets! The Snifflets are here! Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, they're adorable! Come, come here, come with me! Oh my gosh, what is happening when they move? What? <laughs> Children, look away. Don't just rub the moment! Oh, these guys are absolutely glorious! Okay, I need to get them all tied up so I don't run away. Stay with me, I'm your papa. Oh, they make such cute noises. And you guys stay right here. This is the best day of my life. But carrying on, now that we have our sniffers, it's time for us to begin making the sniffer city. I wasn't planning on building it over here, but the sniffers are already down and it's an open area, so let's get to work. Now, building a city in Minecraft is a very complex task. So like I always do, I grabbed a whole bunch of wool and began making an outline for the city. Well, I'm already seeing some issues here. There's a giant cave in the way of where I want to build. There's a bunch of zombies attacking me. And I just saw a really big spider on my desk and I don't know where it went. Uh, why don't we move the operation a little bit over this direction? Yeah, over here will suffice, I think. Sure, why not? later, we have a gigantic wool circle. And basically, this wool represents the giant walls we're gonna build. So, we're gonna have some giant walls on the outside, and build an absolutely beautiful sniffer city on the inside. Oh, also, I made a beacon, but I was out of gold, so I had to use diamonds. I don't know if that's a fail, or a flex, or maybe both. But yeah, now that we have a rough outline for this thing, we can begin building the walls and then the city itself. There's a chicken in my shot, stupid Broderick. Ooh, food. <laughs> Okay, let's go. So the first step to building any really good city is to make a nice block palette. Every single time I make a mob city, I make sure the colors of the mob match the block palette. And lucky for us, there's a place that has all the colors we need all in one single area. Onward into the nether portal. If you're lucky over here, the nether has all the correct colors. It has the green, it has the red, and of course, it has the gold. The three main colors of the sniffer. And since we're gonna start off with the walls, all I need now is just a a bunch of these logs. I'm gonna need some of you, and I'm gonna need some of you. Nom, 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 nom. Sometimes I forget I'm 24 years old. All right, let's see what we can do here. So why don't we tear away some of this wool and replace it with some nice walls of each color of wood. So a little bit of this, and maybe go out a little bit and put some red, and then go in a little bit and change the color, and we strip it. And just a few more minor details here and there. Yeah, I don't think think that's bad at all. As a matter of fact, I think it'll look pretty good around the whole perimeter. So that being said, it's time to expand. Wall montage. No cheats, no hacks, no respawn, and no. I be building crazy things, that's what I show. I be flying with Elytra. I be mining all night. No matter what I want to build, it's gonna be all... I'm not gonna lie, I kind of underestimated how much wood I actually need for this build. Uh. Okay, a little bit later, we have some pretty good-looking walls all around the city. Well, future city. There's no city here yet. But don't you worry, that's about to change. Follow me! But let me just hop back here into the wool factory, grab some of this, and my genius idea was to take that wool and kind of make like a blueprint of where things are gonna go. So the red wool represents where the sniffer houses are gonna go, so like the place 
places for them to live. The blue wool is more for the city theme build, so things like shops or parks or farms or things like that. And last but not least, the green wool represents things that are like natural, so trees, ponds, just things that look like normal kind of Minecrafty stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. And when you put it all together, we have the perfect formula for a city. It's officially time to start building the actual city. Oh wait, I gotta get I gotta get the sniffers too. I would never forget about you guys. I was just testing you. Hey, what are you doing? Stay with the group. Oh my gosh, you guys are so stupid. Please. No, don't fall in the hole. No, 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 no. Oh, almost there. And welcome to your new home. Okay, back to work. So the first and most obvious thing I want to build is a place for the sniffers to hatch their eggs. So we're going to build a nursery, even though I have no idea how to do that. So we're going to start off with our blue wood and make some pillars on each corner of the build. Now we're going to take our crimson wood and fill in the middle. Wait a second. It kind of looks like these guys aren't actually crimson. They're like a red color. So I wonder... Mangrove wood? Oh, that might actually be better. Oh, I hate myself for building all these walls without testing this wood first. It is so much better looking. Ah, oh, whatever. Who cares? We're just gonna make a little substitute. Ah, uh, we're getting there. It kind of looks like a barn right now, but it could use some more details, I think. Oh, yeah. I want to do some like yellow blocks on the build. Okay. 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 Is there a such thing as yellow stairs? Because that would be perfect. Ah, uh, Minecraft, you stink. I guess this will have to do. Okay. This is looking significantly better. Now, I'm not going to lie. I didn't find any good place to put the yellow blocks on the building, but what I can do is make a pretty sick pathway connecting all the buildings together using these yellow blocks. Oh, that is so annoying, but you get the idea here. Just do a little bit of this and boom, it's absolutely perfect. Oh, yeah, I also got to make the inside of the nursery. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, moss, stairs, egg, and just like that, we have an incubator. Nice. So now that we have a place for the sniffers to be born at, we got to make a place for them to actually live and enjoy their life. So we're going to have to make some houses. Also, you guys can be untied now because you're adults. You grew up. I didn't even notice till right now. Hello, 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 hello. <gasps> One of you guys dug up something. Oh, it's a new plant. A torch flower. Flower seed. Oh, I cannot wait to play with these. Oh, you follow the seed. You like the seed, don't you? Okay, we'll get back to that later. I gotta go build some houses first. No homeless sniffers allowed. And I'll save you guys some time here. Boom. And as you guys can see, we have some pretty cool sniffer themed houses going on here. Oh, look at them go. They're already inside here hanging out. It's perfect. But building those houses was the easy part. Now we gotta move on to the actual city buildings. But first, I am gonna need some more materials. Building a city is pretty expensive. So obviously, I headed back to the nether and got some more of that warped wood. And then I stumbled upon something absolutely epic. A nether fortress in the middle of a forest. Well, don't mind if I do. Is there any loot in here for me? I guess not. I can't find any chests. Well, maybe epic was the wrong word, but it did give me an epic idea. In this update, Minecraft added these amazing new armor trims to make your armor looks sick. And the only way to get these trims is to find them in random chests around the world. So it was time for a side quest. So I would assume the easiest place to find these armor trims is in fortresses because they're just so abundant. So yeah, I guess we'll just hop from fortress to fortress until I find one. Come on, fortress number two. Do we have anything? We do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nothing. On we go. Another one. Please, 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 third time's a charm. I'm not liking my odds on this so far. So with the fortress not working out, I hopped around to a few other structures, like some desert temples, a shipwreck, and even an ocean monument. And after a gigantic journey, I finally found it. <gasps> I got one, gotta go. Uh, that took me so long. Get me out of here, bye. I was hoping to find more than just one, but I'm not gonna get greedy because that took literally forever. Okay, so how how do I put this thing on my body? I think you use a sniffing table. Sniffing table. <laughs> Smithing table. So I go like this, and then I put my armor in there. Add ingot or crystal. I kind of want emerald. That'd be pretty sick, right? Boom, boom, boom. Ooh! 
Ooh. Oh, snap. That thing looks crazy. Wait. Oh, my gosh. I look absolutely insane. Okay, we have to get a full set of that one day. But for now, I got to go work in my city. Because I am running out of time today. You'd be amazed just how long finding that one trim took. Ugh. But getting back on track, the city builds. So my plan for these is to build buildings that the sniffers actually need to survive in their day-to-day -day life. And I think the most obvious thing they need is a greenhouse. After all, they do love plants. So we do a little bit of this, some of this, and pretty good. Except for the fact that there are no flowers or plants in the greenhouse, which is a problem. But lucky for us, we have the sniffers. So I managed to collect a good amount of these plants that the sniffers find, but I need to actually, you know, plant them and grow them into actual plants, if that makes any sense. So I think I can just hoe the ground and plant them like that. And that should do the trick, right? I hope so. Oh, they're already growing. In fact, can I just bone meal them? Oh, I I can. Oh, these things are crazy. Look at these things. It's like a jellyfish looking thing. And now that we have a whole bunch of these, I can just grab a couple and boom, boom, boom. My only complaint is that the torch flowers don't actually emit light like a torch, which is pretty stupid. But besides that, this greenhouse is pretty darn sick. I love it. So what else should I put in here? Uh, I guess when you really think about it, sniffers aren't that interesting. So we're gonna have to use our imagination. I'll be back. Okay, so sniffers definitely love nature. So... Why don't we build them a giant red and blue tree in the middle? Like a giant mega tree house thing. Surely this will look all right. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I like that. Now, I also think it's super important that we make a jail for the sniffers. Because they may be cute, but you can never really trust them. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Okay, who wants to be the first person in Sniffer County Prison? You there! You just littered! Come with me, we're going this way! Zombie, stop it! I'm doing a bit here. And that'll make you think twice about littering again, you stupid criminal. Yeah. Now, at this point in the video, I'd normally do some cool replay mod montage involving all the buildings I made. But since none of my mods actually updated yet, you're left with this horrible thing. Enjoy. Uh, okay, so I made, like, a pond thing with water for the sniffers because it looks cool. Uh, what else did I do? Um, I made a bunch of, like, farm thingies, and then I added some other details, and yeah, that was it. But ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, I think the Sniffer City is just about 100% complete. Well, minus this one building here. One second, and now we're done. But that being said, there are still a ton of other things in the new update that we did not cover today, and I have an even better idea for next episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. Every once in a while, Minecraft adds an absolutely game-changing update. Like when they overhauled the nether. Or when they turned Minecraft into a horror game. Or that time they added Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Ah, that was my favorite update. And following that same trend, this year, Minecraft added a pink tree. But today, I'm going to prove that this update is amazing by finding a cherry wood biome and making a gigantic cherry mansion. All in Minecraft hardcore. So how should we do this? Well, I do know for a fact that if we're going to find a cherry blossom biome, I need to go gear up and travel very, very far away. Because if you're new here, this world is very, very old and I've explored like all the chunks around me. So let's craft a whole bunch of fireworks, heal up my elytra, and now we can be on our way to finding new adventures. Goodbye, Broderick. I will see you later. Hua. I don't have time for a Broderick son storyline, so... Oh, no, he despawned. So tragic. Okay, let's go. Now, as far as I know, these cherry blossom biomes are pretty darn rare. So I flew for thousands and thousands of blocks. Ah, uh, eh, wrong update. And while on my journey, I did find some very cool things. Ooh, a desert temple. Is there anything new in this update at these thingies? Don't die, Farzy. Don't die. There's TNT. All right. Do we got anything cool here? Anything of value for me? Ooh. Well, don't mind if I do, Mr. Enchanted Golden Apple. Ooh, a little desert. <gasps> what are you? They added camels to the game? Uh, as you guys can tell, I haven't really researched the update that much. 
you are adorable. Can I ride you? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I have a saddle from the thing I found. <gasps> oh, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked, but I have a camel and he has floppy ears and he can sprint and he can fly. No, he can't fly. That'd be pretty cool though, wouldn't it? Okay, well, this may take a little bit longer to find a cherry blossom, but I'm taking my camel with me. Oh my gosh, I love this update with all my heart. And as I explore the world with my best friend, please subscribe and hit the bell. I'm having so much fun right now. Oh, baby. I see pink trees. Come on, Ernesto, climb. Oh yeah, I named the camel Ernesto. He's adorable. Oh, there's a whole bunch of trees here. Oh, we found the mother load. This place is absolutely beautiful. And I got an achievement. Discover every biome. Okay, what a great accomplishment. But oh my gosh, the leaves, the petals, whatever these things are. That's right, Ernesto. Sit down. Enjoy the beauty of the world. Or don't. This guy's been annoying the entire trip. What did you just do when I held space bar? Do you have like a boost? Is this like Mario Kart? Can you swim, buddy? Oh no! Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. But man, oh man, this trip was worth it. We are gonna make the best mansion ever. Ernesto, you stay right here and don't move. It's officially mansion time. So my plan, as demonstrated by this terrible piece of art, is to terraform away a few of these cherry trees and replace it with an absolutely beautiful pink mansion that blends right in with the biome. Easy peasy. So let's begin. I'm just kidding. I would never. Okay, so why don't we go somewhere here around the middle? Right here should suffice. And we just very gently break away some of this really pretty wood and make sure not to waste a single piece of it because I don't want to deforest this area. Relax! I'm not doing a very good job with this right now. Ooh, pink petals. I am a fan of these. Barzi, stay focused. <laughs> Ah, I didn't mean it. Ugh, I don't want to kill you guys. You're so cute. But okay, a little bit later, we have a gigantic area in this cherry forest fit for a mansion. And in case you guys didn't know, you can get a lot of petals by chopping down a forest. Like, a lot. I also kind of feel like a monster for just coming to this beautiful biome and chopping half of it away, but you gotta do what you gotta do for the content. Okay, so let's figure out how big this mansion's gonna be. Maybe the front wall can go here. Then we go like this. Bring it around here. And I'm no expert here, but I think this is a pretty sizable mansion. Oh, wait. I am an expert. Ah, I love my life. Oh, I almost forgot, Mr. Ernesto. Come with me. Welcome to our soon-to-be magical home. It'll look better later. So with the outline out of the way, it was time for us to decide on a block palette and begin building. Like, obviously, we'll be using a whole lot of this cherry wood, because it is a cherry mansion, but we're probably gonna need a few more colors just to make the build pop. So... Okay, I've put quite a diverse palette of blocks down. Now, what looks the best with pink wood? I'm gonna sleep on it. Okay, rise and shine. Uh... And I'll save you some time. After an unhealthy amount of internal debate, I decided on white. I don't exactly know why, but I can just picture some giant pink and white marvelous mansion and I'm gonna do it. I'm going to make it happen. Ernesto, it's showtime. We're off to go collect some materials. I forgot there was a cliff here. So we're trying to find some white blocks. And I think diorite might be perfect. All right, you stay right there. All right, easy. Ooh, we also could use some birch wood. That's white. Yeah, I kind of like these logs. Finally a purpose for this terrible, terrible wood. If you're a birch wood fan, I'd probably unsubscribe. I'm quite literally the biggest hater of birch ever. But today, I gotta make a sacrifice. Oh, and how could I forget my favorite white block of of them all, calcite. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I want all of it. So with the block palette all figured out, I made a nether portal and spent the rest of my night transporting materials over to the cherry forest. Okay, let's start this party. So we're gonna start off by making the foundations. My idea here is to simply make this entire shape out of beautiful white blocks and raise it up about five blocks. Yeah, I like the sound of that.
good. Now I'm thinking for the entrance, we can make some kind of like staircase thing along the side here and like go up to the middle. Let's see how this looks. Okay, okay, I can rock with this. I like this. But it still could use a few more details. Perhaps maybe a little fountain here. I just gotta borrow a little bit of iron. <laughs> Ooh, not what I was looking for, but any iron in here? No. Come on, it shouldn't be this hard to find iron. Aha! Jackpot. And boom. Significantly better. And since we're on the topic of decorating, I also add in some cool little gardens around the foundation. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this around. And for the plants, absolutely chef's kiss. And if I may add, oh my goodness, the pink wood at first sight is beautiful. If all goes well, this could be one of the best builds I've ever made. But we still got a lot more work to do. Okay, so with the foundation pretty much all polished and out of the way, it's time for us to break out the cherry wood. So we're gonna hop up here and we're gonna make some nice floors. Sorry, Ernesto. He'll be fine. Now let's take all our remaining wood and raise up some gigantic cherry walls to make this mansion look a little more like a building and not a landing pad. Landing pad? Is that a good analogy for this? No. As you can probably tell, I don't leave my house often. Yeah. Bro, can you mob shut up? You're so annoying. I'm just trying to build and all I hear is... Uh, uh. Oh my gosh, there's more layers to this. Bruh! Are there seriously more caves down here? Stop, stop, stop. I am this close to converting my world to peaceful mode. Ugh, stupid mobs. Oh, well, it appears we have a dilemma here. So you see, in order to build a giant mansion, you obviously need a lot of materials. But the issue is, I didn't want to touch any of these cherry trees. Because that's like the whole reason I'm building here. Wait, I might have an idea. And it rhymes with shmerry babbling. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't know, just follow me. Basically, when I was terraforming earlier, I got a bunch of these cherry saplings. And if we fly down over this way, inside these beautiful doors, we have a giant automatic tree farm. I think you guys get the idea here. All right, so I put a sapling there, then I flick the lever, and it should... Why is it not working? Oh, I need bone meal. You stinky boy. Let's try this again. Flick the lever and... Any second now. Uh... Okay, well, since cherry trees don't work in my tree factory, we're gonna have to do things the old-fashioned way. Planting trees by hand and waiting. So let's speed this thing up a little bit. Hello, skeletons. Ooh, they gave me a cool bow. I actually need a new bow, so uh, don't mind if I do. This is what I'm talking about. Perfect. And now that we have all this wood, let's get back to building. So let's go to the middle and raise this thing up about 20 blocks, maybe. And bring all of these walls up too. Wait, I have an idea. What if I replace the outside with a little bit of this, then do a little bit of that? Oh, I just don't know how I do it. It's just a gift. I must have been born with it. But carrying on, I continued raising up all the walls until I thought the shape of the building was pretty much perfect. All right, this build is 100% complete. Episode over. I'm just kidding. Imagine, though. We still gotta make a roof, because right now, there is no roof. Seems like a pretty good reason to make one. <laughs> and to be honest, I'm not sure if I want to use pink or white blocks, but something is telling me to use more cherry logs and strip them like this. So I'm gonna trust my gut here. It's never wrong. Oh, hello there. What are you doing up here, buddy? You should go down there. There's a cool thing going on down there. <laughs> Bruh, am I out of blocks again? This mansion better be worth it because this is a major grind right now. 
and done. And I must say, I think, as I missed the landing completely, I think the roof looks pretty darn good. But clearly, I cannot say the same for the rest of the building because it looks very bland and no details. So we're gonna have to spice it up. Ah, where are you guys coming from? What, what is this some kind of fever dream? What is happening? Are there any more? Are we done? And now we're done. I hate it here. Okay, so let's start things off by making some giant windows on the front. Let's just break out some of this. Now we'll take out some of these blocks and make a little garden thing. Okay, I need some lights. I'm getting a little frustrated right now. Okay, where was I? Ah, yes. Eh. We might have too much pink going on up here. So maybe instead, a little bit of diorite. Ooh la la, that is so much better. Wait, wait, I have one more good idea. We go like this, we go like this, and we go boom, boom, and we have a little flower garden. I also just realized windows need glass. Oh, Ernesto, I need you. Uh, wrong room. Here we go, buddy, come with me. We got places to go. Ernesto, you're so fat. Stupid. Uh, 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 excuse me. Bro, you need to get your stuff to... I'm trying so hard to love you, but it's so difficult. Jackpot. So we're gonna take a whole bunch of this. And with the power of a little movie magic, we have some glorious windows. Right, Ernesto? I think he agrees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, moving on from that painful experience, we still gotta spice this build up quite a bit more. And I'm not talking about these kind of spices. Oh, I'm so not funny. <laughs> Okay, so first and foremost, I have a vision for these little pillars right here. And I'm thinking if I bring these up a little bit, I could make like a balcony that goes right up there to the window. I think trapdoors might work. I take it all back. That looks horrible. But I think I have an alternative. Just gotta find some coal, which should be somewhere around here. Bingo. And what if we try our hand at some campfire? Brother, I hate zombies more than I hate other bad things. I don't know. I'm just really upset right now. What I was gonna say is that we use these campfires for like an awning right here. Oh no, my house is on fire. I probably shouldn't yell that out loud. <laughs> but uh, carrying on, I can come here with my shovel and I can actually put these bad boys out. And we're left with this super detailed wooden texture for the awning. Now we'll just throw some supports in right here. Bring it up a little bit. And we're left with this masterpiece. All right, next big thing on the agenda. I don't really know what to do with these little side pieces of the building. I built them up and I thought they looked cool, but now it's just kind of awkward and stupid. So I need to put something here. And as I say that, I wonder if I could make like some more of these things and make this like a patio kind of a deck thing. All right, I'm sold. Not bad at all. This thing is really coming together now. And to wrap up the exterior, I spent a few more hours adding in a ton of details to make everything perfect. And just a little more. And that should be it. Ooh, Mr. Pig, you blend right in with the thing. Too bad it's not a pig mansion. It's a cherry mansion. But now that the building looks absolutely gorgeous, it's officially time to move on to the interior. Which actually looks a little bit small, but we'll make it work. So first up, we're gonna make my room. So obviously, I'm gonna need a bed, a little extra security, and of course, a whole bunch of decorations. Oh, and I have another idea. I just gotta borrow a little bit of clay, and now we can actually display these new cherry saplings in pots. Look at that. Bruh, they look so good. This is like the best potted plant ever. <gasps> Wait, have you guys ever seen this item before? I think you get the idea here. Off to find an ocean. Oh, yes. Because if you guys have not been paying attention, if we go to these ocean ruins, there's sometimes this special sand. Aha. Uh -huh. And if we brush it, if we're lucky, we'll get a pottery shard to make some really cool special pot. That was an emerald. 
come on. I just need like one more pottery shard. Yes, I have another one. And we go boom, and we go boom, and we go boom. Please look cool. Please look. Why is there a turtle on it? I don't know, but that does look pretty cool. So nice. I also saw someone in the comments saying you can actually put flowers in those things. And I don't believe you, but I'm going to try. So I guess you take a flower pot and you can place it on top of it. No, someone lied to me. Unless this thing is blocking it. And I go like, oh, oh, okay. They were not lying. That looks so sick. Wait, no, we can do better. We can do so much better. What if we take a whole bunch of these and make a whole bunch of these like mini cherry trees using leaves like that? Yes, it is perfect. I love that so much. Oh, I love 1.20. But continuing on with the interior, I built a cute little kitchen for our food supply, and I built a chest room to store any of our extra cherry wood items. It was supposed to be a room for Ernesto, but something changed, and he's no longer interested. Finally, just to make the mansion a little bit cooler, we made a hot tub. Oh my gosh, guys, this thing took a lot longer than I thought. This was like multiple hours of getting blocks and placing them down. But all in all, I'm very proud of things and especially the hot tubs, which are my favorite part of the entire build. Yeah. But I think it's safe to say that we have proven that this update is actually very amazing. Job complete. Oh, also enjoy this weird blooper from last week. Tonight we dance around the flame And we play the spirit game Spirit game We jump out loud No What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I was doing there. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. This is an armor trim. Minecraft added 16 of these bad boys, which allows you to customize your armor in the sickest ways imaginable. But they can be very hard to find. Some ranging from being slightly uncommon to others being astronomically improbable. So obviously, I'm gonna take on the near impossible soul crushing challenge of finding every single armor trim all in Minecraft hardcore. Okay, so if we're gonna pull this off, we're gonna need to go on a massive adventure. Because after all, these armor trims only spawn in rare Minecraft structures. Okay, we got our food, we got some fireworks, and we have a shulker box full of some potentially helpful items. Here we go! Okay, so first up on the agenda, I'm looking for a stronghold so I can find the eye trim, which has a 100% chance of spawning in a stronghold. So, how do I find a stronghold? I didn't think this one through. Wait, I got it. If I just make one of these and grab some of these, wait for it. Now we just gotta follow the eyes. And it says, go this way. Onward! Ooh, it popped. I think that means it's here, right? Well, we're about to find out. And yes, I am digging straight down. I don't care. <gasps> Found it. Okay, I'm looking for the stronghold library. Are you in here? No. Oh, yes, we found it. Okay, I'm looking for a chest. Please, 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 please. Yes! The eye armor trim. We have our first one. And I also get a whole bunch of free bookshelves. What a deal. Oh, there's another one. Nice. And now that we had our first armor trim and all the bookshelves that I stole, it was time to go home and put them on display. Okay, so according to the internet, if I take these trims, and combine them with diamonds and the corresponding block of the structure I was just in, I can duplicate them. Now, how are we going to display my collection? to do it. This is the armor trim museum, and my plan here is to display every single trim in these little exhibits. So we're gonna need some armor stands, some item frames, and most importantly, the armor itself. I'm using diamond armor because I'm too poor to make netherite. And let the games begin.
trim on full display with a beautiful background of the structure that it came from. And just like that, our first armor trim is complete. Well, that was the easiest one. It's only gonna get harder from here. Okay, next up, we are looking for the Vex armor trim, which has a 50% chance of spawning in a woodland mansion, which means I need to actually find a woodland mansion. But don't you worry, I have a plan. I always have a plan. I just gotta find a village. Aha, perfect. So if we're lucky, we can maybe find a cartographer here who can sell us a map. Hello, any cartographers? Well, I couldn't find one. So instead I'm going to forcibly make one of you a cartographer. Sorry. Okay, so I brought over a ton of emeralds for this reason. I wanna do a bunch of trades and unlock all of your stuff. A few moments later. Yes! Woodland Explorer map. And boom. Thank you, my boy. Now let's go find this thing. Aha, the map never lies. Okay, how do we get inside? Hello there, dangerous man. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be smart about this. And you're dead. Sweet. Ooh, a totem. Oh gosh. I'm probably gonna need my armor on for this bad boy. So I guess we just look around and find some chests. Oh. <gasps> we got one! Well, that was fast. Easy peasy. Now we're just gonna craft a few more of these bad boys. Perfect. And let's put this bad boy on display. That's it for the Vex armor trim. Okay, well, with the two easiest ones out of the way, it's time to move on to some slightly rarer armor trims. Still not as rare as the Silence armor trim, but we'll get to that later. Right now, we're looking for the Wild armor trim, which has a 33% chance of spawning in a jungle temple. Ah, a jungle. Bingo. It's time to begin exploring. Jackpot. Come on, baby. Show me the goods. I'm not falling for your tricks. I'm an adventurer. Come on. Oh, we got two of them. And they tried to convince me these things are rare. Ha! I laugh in their face. It was definitely the hat. Now just to craft some more of these. Yeah, yeah, you guys know the drill. And the wild trim is complete. And now I can take this stupid hat off. Moving on to our next target, we were looking for the sentry armor trim, which has a 25% chance of spawning in a pillager outpost. And as you probably know, you just gotta get lucky to find those things. So yeah, this one took a while. Oh, there we go. Come on, give Farzi what he wants. Nothing, dang it. Attempt number two, please. Oh, another one. Third time's a charm. Yes, it is indeed. Beautiful. A very fitting noise there. Back home we go. I think my elytra broke. Yep, that'll do it. Uh... Well, with that near-death experience out of the way, let's put this guy on display. All right, all right, this is so dramatic. Just put it down, Farzy. It's not that serious, jeez. But that being said, that's it for the sentry armor trim. Okay, well, so far we are making really good progress. But now it's time to take to the ocean to find the tide armor trim. And we're probably gonna need some milk. Cause funny enough, the only way to get this armor trim is by killing the elder guardian. I'm probably gonna want this thing. No, 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 no. Okay, we're in and we're out. We're in and we're out. And we're out. Come on, where are you? Are you up here? Oh, yes, you are. All right, die, die, die. Oh, that was it. That was incredibly easy. Oh, I'm also drowning. Go, 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 go. Don't do it. Uh... And while on the topic of the ocean, we also went after the coast armor trim, which has a 16% chance of spawning in a shipwreck. We got some. I also found this really cool clock. I can finally tell time. Uh-oh. I am completely out of diamonds right now. And we still have a lot of armor trims to go. I'll be back shortly. And that ought to do it for now. 
and nice. And that's it for the tide and coast armor trims. But our objective right now is to find the dune armor trim, which only has a 14% chance of spawning in a desert temple. I got a feeling from here on out, it's going to be really annoying to find the trims. Stupid mathematics. Oh, oh it's a beach. Oh, another beach. Oh, not a beach. Not a beach. We found a desert. Now show Farzy what he's looking for. Not what I was looking for, but pretty cool, I guess. <gasps> oh, I love camels. As a matter of fact, I'm taking you with me. And I shall name you Sir Pesto. Yeah, that has no meaning behind it at all. R.I.P. Ernesto. Oh, and since we had to cross a giant body of water and Sir Pesto is too fat to fit in the boat, I had to waste like an hour of my time looking for slime balls so I could make leads for Sir Pesto. The things I do for this guy. Oh, jackpot. All right, I'm nervous. It took me a long time to find this, so please pay off. Oh! Not what I meant. Is everything good down there? Please, armor trim, please. Nothing. Dang it. Come along, Sir Pesto. We gotta keep going. Okay, attempt number two. Please, 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 please. Oh my goodness! The dune trim, yes! Absolute perfection. Sir Pesto, we did it. Now we just gotta ride for thousands and thousands of blocks to get this guy home. And like one hour later, we're back. You stay there. And let's go make our display. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And that takes care of the dune armor trim. Bro, that armor trim took me three hours to get. I can't even imagine how long the silence trim is gonna be. Oi. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, next up on the agenda, we are going to a place that I have never, ever been to before. In 1.20, Minecraft added a new structure called the Trail Ruin. And even though I have no idea how to find this thing, I have to locate it because it can spawn four different armor trims inside of it. The Host, Razor, Shaper, and Wayfinder trims all have an 8% chance of spawning in a Trail Ruin. So yeah, we gotta find this thing really badly. Now, as far as I'm aware, where these things spawn like underground. I think they're like kind of similar to fossils. So I guess we just got to search some caves. Oh, what a stupid cave this is. Ooh, diamonds, but still no trail ruins. There's got to be a better way to do this. Let me just do a quick search on the internet. Wait, wait. Oh my God, wait, who are you? Where did you come from? Maybe up here is a little bit safer. Okay, so apparently they spawn in specific biomes, like the birch biome or like spruce biomes. So I probably ought to post up around here and get to looking. Oh, and I also found out these things are made of like terracotta, so they're pretty easy to spot if you find them. Oh, wait, that's, that's fire. <laughs> Almost. Why are these things so hard to find? The more I do this video, the more I wanna cry. No. Oh, what is this? This looks like something new. I see terracotta. I see gravel. This could be it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, where is the chests? Are there even chests in this thing? I am totally clueless right now. What are these noises? Why is there glass breaking? What am I doing wrong? Am I supposed to be like using my brush here or something? <gasps> oh, you are. Oh, is that how you find it? I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. What? What, what, what is this? Oh, it's die. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's an armor trim. Oh, we have the host armor trim. Okay, well, now I just got to go find the other three. Oh, this is going to take forever. And to make an incredibly long story short, I spent the entire rest of my day flying around to find these trail ruins and dusting off hundreds of pieces of gravel. It was so not fun. <laughs> <gasps> yes! And that's the last one. Nice. I also found this weird music disc, and I'm kind of curious. I like it. But okay, let's go make our display for these four armor trims. And that concludes the host, razor, shaper, and wayfinder armor trims. Whew, 
that was a mouthful. Mwah. Sorry. Okay, well, up to this point, we've gotten just about every single trim that you can find in the overworld. But I urge you to buckle your seatbelt because now we're moving on to the other dimensions. Here we go. And our first target is the Snoot armor trim, which only has an 8% chance of spawning in a bastion. Snoot? Snout? Snot? I don't know. Let's just go find it. Okay, so immediately my big issue is I need to navigate a lot of lava and structures and not die. Aha, uh -huh, that's a good sign. Flowing lava means new chunks. We're getting closer. <gasps> yes! Oh, that was so fast. Okay, this is going to be very terrifying, but I gotta do it. Oh, I'm out of arrows. I don't have infinity. Oh, I did not plan this out well. Let's just carefully hop down. No, don't even think about it. Please. Nothing. Like the carrots though. And the iron. Ah! I don't like this place. It makes me uncomfortable. No. All right. I gotta be faster. I can't dilly dally. I gotta run and find the chest and get out of here. Stick the landing chest. Oh, I saw something. I saw something. Come on. Be quick. Be quick. Get it. Yes, we got it. Go, go. Get out of here. Bye bye. <laughs> that could not have gone better right there. Every time I jinx it, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, about that. There's actually a second armor trim that you can find in the nether. So of course I had to go get that one too. Okay. I'm looking for a nether fortress because if we do find one, we might just find the rib armor trim, which has a 6.7% chance of spawning. Boop. Come on. There's gotta be one somewhere in this giant lava pit. Aha. I knew it'd be around here somewhere. Hello there. All right. I'm getting a lot of things on me right now. Oh. I don't like this place very much. I'm gonna go here to these chill pig bros. I like you guys more. Oh, chest. Nothing. Oh, but diamonds? I need those. Come on. Farzy needs an armor trim. Dang it, man. Third time's a charm. I don't like this place at all. And I don't like my odds here either. Okay, first fortress, no dice. On to the next one. Okay, I take it back. There's not a single chest in this one. I know I've been saying it a lot, but this one actually might take me forever. Uh... <gasps> I've never been so happy in my life. I think this is how euphoria feels. My only issue is I have no idea how to get home, but I don't care because we have the trim. Actually, I do care because I'm out of fireworks. Uh-oh. But I think I know a place that might have some extra fireworks. Oh, uh, I can't believe I'm back here already. Yes, come here. Make it easy for me. Okay, please, 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 please. Where are the fireworks, please? Oh, a second trim. That's pretty cool. But not what I'm here for. Where are the fireworks? I know they're here somewhere. Uh-oh. Wait, what are you? A netherite upgrade? Is there some forbidden trim I didn't know about? Okay, well, I found no fireworks, but I have three trims now, which is amazing and unexpected. And after a long and scary journey home, it was showtime. Why are these things so hard to find? The more I do this video, the more I wanna cry. And now we officially have the snout and rib armor trims. I also found out you use these templates to make armor netherite now. So we might revisit these later. Hint, hint. Yeah. And for the other dimension, we are looking for an end city so we can get the spire armor trim. Come on, beginner's luck, baby. Nothing. I got a feeling this one might also take a long time. Welp, you guys know the drill. Cue the music. <laughs> Yes, that was surprisingly easy. Are we still doing this montage thing? I guess we are. And the Spire armor trim is secured. Okay, let's just take a deep breath and think about what's at stake right now. We are down to the final two armor trims, which are by far the rarest and most dangerous ones to find. So if we were gonna pull this thing off, we were gonna need to gear up. We're gonna need some totems, some iron, a brand new bow, and a whole bunch of this stuff. Anything else I'm missing, Broderick? Oh, good idea. I'm wearing diamond armor. Okay, I can't do the headpiece. Thank you for the wonderful idea, Broderick. Okay, let's go find an ancient city. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Ah. Sorry, I get easily distracted. 
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're here. Okay, we gotta be very sneaky here. Just gonna break this thing. The ward armor trim will be mine. Uh-oh. It appears I've bothered somebody. I was afraid of this happening. Okay, you know what? Just to be safe, let's get my stuff out. I can't say anything, but I think I have a pretty good plan here, right? So if I make some iron blocks and I go like this, I have some free bodyguards. All right, sir, protect me. These sounds are scaring me. I can't see anything. I don't know what's going on right now. <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa. he found me. He found me. He found me. Go, 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 go. I can't see anything. Oh, no. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Well, that plan didn't work. Oh, not this again. How am I going to do this? Instead, let's go for plan B. Find the chest and look at it really fast and run away. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this place was a dud, which is really annoying because I've already used three out of my five totems so far. On to the next one. Now, to make a very, very, very long story short, I spent hours hopping from city to city until I finally found the second to last trim. <gasps> yes! Oh, we finally got one. And thank goodness for that because I am almost out of fireworks right now. Whew. But guys, we are finally down to our last armor trim, the silence trim, which only has a 1% chance of spawning, which is not great, but I'm determined to find it. So let's grab some more food, craft a bunch of fireworks, and get back on the road. Stupid warden, I'm not afraid of you. I've done this already. I don't like this anymore. Whoa, pretty waterfall. Snowballs? Why are there snowballs in this stupid place? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I already found that tram. Can you hit me from up here? I think I found a cheat code. I killed him. Oh, it's another one of the wards. Ah. Oh, and again. <gasps> oh my gosh. I've never been so happy in my life. We found it. I can't believe it. I've been to so many ancient cities today. Yes, get me out of here. I'm so happy. Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, it brings me great pleasure to say, let's display our final two armor trims. All done. And that completes the ward and silence armor trims. Oh, and one more thing. Now everything is netherite, including my own new sick armor. Like how amazing does that look? I love it. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go take a nap because that was exhausting work today. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. This is a Minecraft desert, which is a pretty boring biome to be honest. But today, we're gonna change that. We're gonna take this boring old desert and fully transform it into an epic ancient Egyptian style pyramid. Fully decorated with hidden treasure, villager sphinxes, and of course, a secret tomb for the hardcore king. All in Minecraft hardcore. Okay, well first up, we gotta go find a place to build this giant pyramid. And I think I know someone who can help us. Sir Pesto, my giant camel friend. I think he knows his way around the desert. Come on, my boy, we got places to be. On we go. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, I see sand as far as the eye can see. I knew my explorer hat would work. Well, all right, this place looks perfect. So I started off by taking out my shovel and terraforming a nice flat area for us to build upon. This is a very boring activity. No. It's okay. Putting my beautiful singing voice aside, we now have a nice flat area to make our giant Minecraft pyramid. So how am I going to do this? Throughout ancient history, giant pyramids are basically just giant sandy triangles. But in Minecraft, that would look pretty stupid. So after learning a little bit about geometry, I came up with the perfect shape for our pyramid. Ladies and gentlemen, this build is going to be sick. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Long time no see. Do you got anything good for me? Oh no, he despawned. I haven't done that joke in a while. But any 
Anyways, the plan here is to build some giant pillars, making like some cool foundation for the pyramid to sit on top of. Well, maybe it shouldn't be out of dirt, but you get the idea. Hmm, I just got a good idea. If the pyramid's gonna be like sandy blocks like this, I wonder if the foundation should be like out of lighter blocks, like, like quartz or something like that. Thank you, buddy. You inspired me. It was meant to be a gesture of goodwill. <laughs> Aha! Would you look at that? I'm right next to my brick factory, which has exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, wait. I'm on the nether roof. I need to be down there. It didn't work. I guess we go this way. Aha! My hole. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Okay, hopefully this is enough. Ooh, quartz pillars. I kind of want those. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. I love it. And while I'm here, I'm also going to grab some birch wood because I think it would look pretty good in with this build. That and I have a lot of it. Back we go. Okay, so I think the outside block should be birch. And then these little indentations can be the quartz pillars. And we bring it around and raise it all up. Uh, hold on. Let me try something. Thing. Oh, yeah, that is a hundred times better. This is good. This is good. Now I just gotta go do the other three sides. This might take a while. And as we finish building this monstrosity, please subscribe and hit the bell. Please actually do it. I'm like dying of boredom right now. It's so slow. All right, the foundation is now complete. I also added this like blackstone trim around the thing to give it like a darker shading on it. I kind of like it. Oh, I don't think I lit up anything down here. Oh, my God. Goodness. Yeah, I'm never coming down here ever again. Okay, bye. Whew. But now with the foundation out of the way, it's time for us to begin working on the actual pyramid itself. Basically, I'm breaking up this pyramid into three separate levels, with each of them having their own unique designs and decorations. But of course, the one thing they will all have in common is a sandstone. Okay, we got your normal sandstone, your cut sandstone, your chiseled sand sandstone. Sandstone. You get the point. There's many kinds of sandstone. I'm definitely gonna run out of sand at some point, but for now, let's just start building. So we're gonna begin level one by making some nice sandstone walls and making a giant grand entrance. Because after all, what's the point of building a pyramid if you can't get inside of it? Makes sense to me. Oh, hey, buddy, you respawned. Welcome back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't hit me. I'm the spit dodger. Ah, dang it. I already ran out of sand. All right, this thing looks pretty solid to me. We just gotta decorate the door a little bit. Sandstone walls to the rescue. And we just need a staircase to actually get up to the door. Uh, something is missing here. Perhaps a little garden decor thingy? Like... This? I actually kind of love it. Yeah, this thing is actually really cool now. Farzi approves. I also threw in some quartz pillars into the sides of the wall and raised up these towers right here in the front. I'm not sure what I want to put here yet, but we'll get back to that very shortly. In the meantime, I have a much better idea. Also a very expensive idea, but it'll be worth it. So one of the few facts I actually know about pyramids is that they are covered in riches and gems. I think. I'm actually not too sure now. But regardless, my plan the plan here is to make a really cool and expensive trim up here made of like solid gold and blackstone and just tons of cool things. So let's do some of this and some slabs and stairs. And we're just going to temporarily pretend this is gold. Boom, 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 boom. And oh, that actually would look really sick. But with like real gold, of course. All right, I'll BRB. And I'm out of fireworks. I guess I'll be walking home today. Wait, big brain. Ah! And I am so smart. All right, this better be worth it. Does Farzee have any gold? Ooh, I got a lot of that stuff. Thank you. Great success. Dude, that looks so sick. A giant gold encrusted trim on my pyramid. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I may have not put gold on the back side of it just because I didn't have enough. But hopefully no one's going to notice from the front. Yeah. Oh, wait. Since I have a little extra gold now, maybe some gold encrusted stairs. Encrusted? 
in encrusted encrusted what's the word encrusted hmm. the more you know nice hey you better not steal my gold i'm not afraid to go all indiana jones on your face yeah that's what i thought but next up on the agenda we collected some more sandstone and used it to start rounding off the top of level one i just realized i have no idea where sir pesto went uh i hope he's okay i don't see him anywhere oh dear yeah look at this thing it's actually looking like a pyramid kinda and trust me there's gonna be a lot more where that came from but before we finish up with level one i still have one amazing idea i'm kind of addicted to this whole gems on the pyramid idea i just really really like it so i kind of want to put some other gems up here as well to the mines we go oh a mine all right where are all the gems iron nah that's too basic gold we just did that why am i all slow right now Hey, stop it. You're gonna kill me, dog. Ooh, redstone. Wait, that's actually a really sick idea. Why don't we use redstone on the pyramid? That would look so sick. It's decided we're doing it. Either I've been here before or this is some very strange generation. Oh. All right, let's see how many redstone blocks I can make. 38. That should be good. So let's try to make like a giant ruby crystal kind of thing. So I'm going to go like this and then maybe go out like that and go up one more. Uh, no. Maybe add some stairs around it. Ooh, better. I like that. And just one more thing. Blackstone slabs. And a boom, and a boom, and a boom, boom, boom. That was messed up. <laughs> ah! Please don't look dumb. Please don't look dumb. Oh. I don't know, guys. I might have just uncovered some cool secret building hack. That is crazy. It actually looks like it's embedded in the pyramid. Like, look at that. I'm actually so blown away right now. And it matches my armor, too. Now just to spread the wealth to the other three sides. Uh, was someone gonna tell me that it was off-center? <laughs> I hate you guys. It's all your fault. I'm just kidding. I love you all. Except for kids named Gabe. I hate that name. Oh, why'd I say that? And boom, that looks amazing. Nice. Okay, I really gotta work on these towers now because they are just really bland and boring and they're just making the whole place look stupid. And I have a very interesting idea for this. And it might involve you. Okay. Or just walk away. That's fine. But anyways, my plan is to anoint one king of the pyramid and build a statue of them on both of these towers. Everybody, I need your attention. I'm looking for a king. How about you over here? Yeah? No? No? Oh, I think we have a tanker. He's walking over this way. Come with me. You are now the king of the desert. Onward. Ah, uh, stupid stairs. Come on up here. Yes, yes. Keep coming. Oh, this guy is destined for a life of luxury. Yes. And here's your bed. Yeah, that's my boy. Safety first. Nice. All right. How should we do this? Uh... Okay, let's start this thing off by making a villager's head out of like wood. So we'll do a little bit of this. And this can be his nose maybe <laughs> honestly not terrible i, I kind of see a vision here but if he's gonna be a king he's definitely missing something i'm gonna need some of this stuff he needs one of those ancient egyptian pharaoh hats if only i had some kind of reference to accurately build this hat i think it's fair to say i spend too much money on video props Oh, my king. I'm sorry. I forgot about you. I was too busy honoring you to defend you. All right, move, 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 move. Oh. Hey, part of being the king is also protecting your citizens. Please, please, please. I would say the... Oh. Sorry, I got no totem. I'm a little bit on edge right now. I would say these things look really good. The headpieces are a little bit meh, but from far away, I think it looks very, very cool. Hello again, my king. My work here is done. In fact, I think you need a name. How about King Gabe? That way, kids named Gabe can't get mad at me. Big brain. Also, I think I'm done with this head thing. All right, well, with the first and biggest level out of the way, it was time for us to move on to level two. And as I said before, I want every layer to have its own unique decoration, so I kind of want to use a different kind of block here. Chiseled sandstone. But the question is, how do we craft this? Because I only have four pieces. Chiseled. Oh, there it is. Sandstone slabs, that's it? I thought that'd be way more complicated. Oh, yeah. 
Huh, I kind of like it. There's a bunch of little mini creepers on my building. Ooh, hang on a sec. I kind of want to make another one of these expensive trims, but maybe not out of gold. Mostly because I don't have any. Maybe something green like emeralds? I might be biased because I'm surrounded by these villagers, but I say we do it. Okay, everybody should know there is only one superior way to get emeralds. And the answer is melon. Melons. And you can't forget the pumpkins either. Okay, hello, villager trading hall. Give me all your emeralds, please, and thank you. Uh, did I say melons? I obviously just misspoke. What I meant to say was pillager raid farm, which is right up there. I can't find any of the banner guys, and they're currently kicking my butt. Yes, banner guy. Easy as that. And that gives us a grand total of about a stack and a few extra emerald blocks. Worst case scenario, I'll skip the back again. Haha, uh -huh, I would never do that. Yeah, there's a 0% chance I have enough emerald. What a shame. Oh, Gabe, no! Leave him alone! Don't touch the king! Who do you think you are? Gabe, hire some bodyguards. You're the king. In fact, come here. You too. All right, make sure Gabe is always safe. Got it? Looking good. And now for the creeper blocks. And yes, I'm gonna fill in the rest of these emeralds later. I know he said each level was gonna be different and unique, but I kind of want to copy that crystal design up here. Except maybe we can make it like a different color. Also, does anybody have any food? I can't sprint. Oh, I'm sorry, piggies, but I need the meat. No, an escapee! Ah, <laughs> get right. Nom, 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 nom. Where was I? Oh yeah, gems. Let's make a game out of this. The first gem I see has to be the gem I make for the crystal. I don't say anything, I don't say anything, I don't say anything. Redstone, but that doesn't count because I already did that. Uh... Ooh, this might be just a thing. A little amethyst, huh? I think that's a beautiful gem. And after all, it is the first gem I saw. Kinda. No. I'm a loser. Yes. And absolutely delicious. And for the most important detail of them all, boom. Boom. I like it. And that's about it for level two. Now let's take care of level three. And to make a long story short, I threw in some redstone, a little bit of lapis, and I wanted to make the tip out of solid gold. Because I guess they did that back then. Uh, where's Gabe? I think Gabe might have died. Well, carrying on. I've already made it very clear that I am all out of gold. So I gotta go find a way to get a lot of it in a very quick amount of time. Follow me this way. So over here, I actually have a pretty massive gold farm, but I don't know how good it really is. I have a feeling it's not a very good one, to be honest. But there's only one way to find out. I just gotta land on this thing. Ugh. This is so disorienting. Okay, cool. And if I zoom down there, you can kind of see pigment on top of that farm. It's really hard to see, but they're, they're doing their thing. Okay, let's see what we got. Please. Is that good or bad? Hold on, time to do math. And here's the last of it. 64 gold blocks. Not bad at all. I think I can make that work. All right, let's give it a go. So we go like this and we bring it around. Uh, the math ain't looking good here, boys. Yeah, we're short. One moment, little. And there we go, a gold-tipped pyramid. Also, I secretly filled the inside of this with iron so I can make this a beacon on the top. So we go, boom, I put my yellow glass on top, and I give myself something cool. Maybe strength for the sake of the future kings who live here. R.I.P. Gabe. Dude, from far away, look how sick this whole thing looks. It's colorful, it's grand. I think we're done here. Well, done with the exterior. I still got some crazy plans for the inside. Like killing all the mobs in here. Please go away. I'll deal with that shortly. Okay, so as I hinted at way back at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna make some very cool things inside the pyramid. But the inside of here is very big and I can't decorate all of this. So I'm gonna kind of make like a labyrinth, AKA a giant maze that leads to some cool rooms. So I guess this can be like the entrance. Then we'll tighten it up right here. And I guess we just start making a bunch of twists and turns to make like a cornfield kind of thing. Uh, I hope this works. No, 
we just gotta raise all these walls up a little bit and boom. But yeah, essentially it's like a giant maze now. So you walk through the maze and you gotta find the cool open rooms, not zombies, rooms. Oh my gosh, there's so many zombies. But yeah, if I keep walking around, I should be able to find these rooms. I literally made them myself. Eh, they're in here somewhere. But regardless, let's start decorating this place. Okay, so we have three rooms to decorate. And for the first room, I wanna make a pottery room. Just cause I feel like ancient Egyptians had a lot of like really cool pottery and like art and stuff like that. And what better place to go to than my brick factory to make some pots? Okay, what do we got in here? Nothing? Okay. I could have sworn I used this factory a lot already, but I guess I lied. All right, follow me this way. We got to go into the big old lush cave and get some clay. Okay, now we take our clay and put it into the tube going up to the factory. Easy peasy. Yes, yes, there it goes. Now let's do this thing. Bada boom and bada boom. Why don't these things stack? Ugh. Oh, wait, I can put the small pot inside of the big pot. Infinite pot. And last but not least, I'm gonna put in some carpet to make it a little bit more decorative in here. Perfect. Now for our second room, I just simply wanted to make a treasure room full of chests that contain tons of riches. Granted, the loot here isn't great because I used all my blocks building the pyramid, but I think it should suffice for now. Zombie with a bow? Skeleton with a bow? This is a very interesting development right here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our final room of the pyramid, which should be right over here. Now, the idea I have for this is actually kind of interesting. I kind of want to dig down and make a giant tomb for the king of the pyramid, who is now dead. So I guess it kind of fits, right? <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. So we're going to hop down here. Oh, one second. And we're gonna make a nice big staircase here that leads down to the tomb. Welcome to the Tomb of Gabe. Now just to figure out how to build a tomb. Well, one thing I learned in school is that the pharaohs used to get buried with tons of riches because they had the most stuff in the entire Egyptian kingdom. Kind of weird if you ask me, but who am I to judge? So we're gonna build a really cool casket down here and just surround it in gems. Also, should I use mud bricks or end bricks? Perhaps a combination of both. I'm not exactly confident what an Egyptian tomb looks like, but I think this is good enough, right? And now for the gems. Again, I'm really not sure what I'm doing here, but I kind of just want to be done for today, so good. Oh, wait. If this tomb is truly all about honoring Gabe, I'm putting his bed down there. And boom, Gabe, my boy, will never forget you. I'm kind of sad he's gone. Eh, I'm over it. But guys, that is it. We made an amazing Egyptian-style pyramid, and I'm very proud of it. Oh, wait. This would probably be a good time to find Sir Pesto. Sir Pesto? Ah, there he is right there. Come on, my friend. We're going home. But yeah, this build is so awesome. But that's gonna be it from me. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. In my Minecraft world, I have a lot of farms that run on bone meal. But like most Minecraft players, I run out very often. Why do I have a mob farm if it produces like no bones? Ah! But today, we're gonna change that. And if I don't, my neighbors might get me evicted. Ah! I'm going to make an epic redstone powered skeleton farm, which will be hidden inside of an absolutely massive custom skeleton base, all in Minecraft hardcore. So my inspiration for this skeleton base is actually from these other mob statues that I made in previous episodes. And ironically, this zombie base actually is a mob farm that produces like no bones. But okay, let's get to work. So before I could build anything, I had to go find the proper location. So I ventured out far and wide in search of a skeleton mob spawner. Oh, spawner. Oh, it's a spider spawner. Any loot for me? Oh, why, thank you. Oh, boys, I think we found a skeleton spawner. Let's go. And a name tag. Thank you very much. All right, all right, all right, all right. Chill, 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 chill. Uh, wait, how is that there? But this stuff is... is <gasps> Do you guys know what this means? We found a double skeleton spawner. Don't kill me, please. <gasps> I'm so happy and so scared at the same time. Let's be cautious about this. 
Okay, I have no idea how rare a double spawner is, but this is like perfect for today's video. I am so happy right now. And if my math is correct, I should be pretty close to my home base. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Well, I promised you guys an epic skeleton farm and dang flabbit, you're gonna get one. Dang flabbit. I gotta get out more. But now that we found this insane double spawner, it's time for us to head back home and figure out how the heck I can turn this into a farm. Because I'll be honest, I did not plan for this. Okay, so if I was a betting man, I would say we're gonna need a lot of redstone and water buckets. And we have no redstone. Oh my gosh, we used it all last video on that stupid pyramid I made. I hate myself right now. Well, for now, it looks like we're relying on water buckets and a bunch of signs. Everybody cross your fingers. And that should be enough. Where is my spawner? How have I already lost it? Oh, there it is. Now we dig. Because I've made a lot of mob farms in my life and they all include a giant room with the spawner in it. So yeah, we dig. I kind of wish I brought a beacon with me because this is taking forever. Okay, okay, looking good. Now it's time for us to take out the water buckets and begin spreading water across the floor. And what I'm hoping is that we can make water kind of flow the skeletons into the middle here and make kind of like a water elevator that shoots them up somewhere. I think that'll work. I just realized I didn't need all those water buckets because I can just keep refilling it right here. I feel really dumb right now. Uh huh. look at me, Mr. Big Brain. I got the water making a little track right here. Now we go down one, put some more water in, and now all the skeletons will be led down to the elevator, aka the skeletor. Get it? It's like a pun. Skeleton. Elevator. I have no friends. But all right, let's give it a try. Let's break all the lights off and let's watch the bad boys spawn. Yes, yes, go down there. Don't shoot each other, you stupid idiots. Well, only one survived, but it works. It definitely works. Not that. Okay, I need to get a totem. I'll be back later. But now that we know the farm works, we're gonna pause that and begin working on the giant skeleton base. So my plan is to build a massive skeleton statue. And after decorating it to make it all pretty, we are then gonna funnel all the skeletons from the farm into the base for killing and loot collection. And yes, I'll be using redstone too. I know you guys love watching me suffer in this game. But okay, I say we start off by making a platform for our skeleton base to sit upon. And of course, we'll be using diorite. The most beautiful block in the game. Okay, so I think the middle would be like right around here. And we're just gonna raise it up and expand it a little bit. Now we just bring this down into the water and ta-da. Yeah, I think that's good. Now it's skeleton building time. And for that, we're gonna need a variety of different kinds of stone blocks. The idea for these kinds of mob statues is to build them out of simple natural Minecraft blocks. And then after the fact, add in some structures as decorations. So off I went, collecting up a whole bunch of stone, gravel, and a site, and a few different kinds of ores. And as I collect all these gorgeous Minecraft blocks, please subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, let's begin, Mr. Skeleton Man. So we're gonna start off by making the skeleton's legs using andesite and a little bit of stone. And we're gonna raise this thing up about 20 more blocks. Skeletons have very long legs. And yeah, I think those are a fine pair of legs. I might have overdone it with all the oars, but it looks colorful, so I approve. Farzy likes color. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the hips. And I'm pretty sure these are just like one out off the body. So I go like this and bring this around the legs like so. Is this accurate? Uh, You there, let me see your hips. Uh, Yeah, I think I did that right. Hey, hey stop, stop. I just started a, a world war. I'm just gonna make this a tad bit taller. And now for the backbone. Perfection. Look at that spine. I wish I had one of those. Well, with the lower body of this statue out of the way, we had to find a way to get all these skeletons up into the skeleton base. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? It's time to build the skelevator. I've been waiting all day for this. Okay, step one, dig down and find the spawner. I think it's somewhere around here. Here we are. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't want this. I forgot you guys exist. I'm just gonna do this for now. But all right, so we're gonna make a little hole here. Put down 
down some signs. Now we just gotta make ourselves a good old-fashioned water elevator. You got your soul sand. A big old hole for water. And copious amounts of kelp. Copious means a lot. Okay, it's time to give it a test. Oh, Mr. Skeletons. All right, come on, this way. Come up, come on. Oh, it's working. I see him, I see him. Oh, oh, they're all coming up at once. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, there's so many skeletons right there. All right, chill, chill, chill. Under the sea. Please don't kill me. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to contain them a little bit better than that. This giant glass pipe should suffice. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, I just had a realization. How am I gonna get the skeletons from here up there? Unless... And as you could probably guess, I expanded the water elevator up and through the skeleton's legs. That is what I'm talking about. Look at this ingenuity. Oh, I love when things work out for me. But okay, guys, with the lower body all out of the way, it's time for us to segue to the upper body, which will also contain a fancy system to collect the skeleton's loot. Let's go. So the two main components for the skeleton's upper body is his ribs and his arms, which means we're also gonna need Need some more materials. Cause somehow I already ran out. I don't know how, but whatever. Well, hello there, diamonds. As a matter of fact, these bad boys would look sick on the statue. <laughs> All right, that settles it. I need cooler ores. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry, zombies. Not you today. It's a skeleton kind of day. And that should be good. Right after I get some real food. I've been eating rotten flesh for the past 10 minutes. Whee! Okay, we're gonna make a rib right here, then hop down a little bit, and then one here, and maybe just one more right there. Now we bring it this way, and connect it over here to the front. I hope I'm doing this right. Stop shooting me, I'm just trying to see your ribs. Stop moving. Now I just gotta add the chest bone to cover up the front. For the record, I'm like 99% sure there's no such thing as a chest bone. And now all we gotta do is make some arms. Oh, I forgot how gravity works. Let's try that again. Oh, can you guys see the vision or what? As soon as we put a head on this bad boy, oh, it's gonna be amazing. And now, as we already talked about, I need to make a system to collect all the skeleton's loot right up here. And I think I have just the plan for this. Keyword, think, because I'm not sure. <laughs> I need some lava. Where is lava? Also, why do I never clean these stupid shulker boxes? Where is the lava? I guess I gotta do this the old-fashioned way. <gasps> lava. Nom, nom, nom. Hey. Okay, so the plan here is very simple. The skeletons will get shot up to, let's say, this block right up here. Then we can use a water current to push them over here to the middle. Will this work? Uh-oh. Uh, maybe if I go like this and then put the water up here. Okay, yeah, yeah, that works. And then even more signs in the middle because we can't have enough signs, I guess. And now for the moment of truth. We take our lava and put it here as it spans across the signs, killing the skeletons as soon as they touch it like this. I think it's flawless. I'm having a hard time getting out of this thing. Ugh. All right, let's see if it's gonna work. So I set AFK near the spawner for a few minutes and it turns out it's kind of working there's skeletons here but they're fighting each other i think i know what the problem is here we need some ice this way when the skeletons get yeeted up here they'll have a little extra push from the slippery ice science now we're just gonna make some hoppers to pick up all the loot easy peasy wait where did the chests go uh to make a long story short i had to completely redo my collection system i hate this 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 so much okay so essentially now the skeletons will get flushed up through the statue's arms and the lava killing chamber is up here at the very top and i'll be honest with you guys i actually don't hate this it is pretty cool i just hope it works but i guess we're gonna find out also can you see 
see all the pipes I made up there? Oh, you can't even see anything. Well, almost. I can see a little bit of ice and soul sand, but that's okay. Now, before we move on to the next part of this build, I gotta take care of something really important. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to announce I am officially bringing back the like challenges. How it works is that I give you guys a like goal, and if you hit that like goal, I have to do some crazy dangerous challenge that may or may not kill me. It's pretty fun. So that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will trap myself in a room with 100 creepers and I have to fight them all with no totem. The like challenges are coming back with a bang. Literally. So go like the video. But carrying on, now it's time to make the skeleton's head. And if we're gonna pull this thing off, I need to make a pit stop at the Mesa biome. We're gonna need a whole bunch of this terracotta to make the skeleton's eyes, nose, and mouth. Don't question me, it'll look good. You guys see that salmon down there? Well, watch this! Bruh. What? What? <gasps> Come on! It's impossible. I will hit this guy. I don't care how long it takes. I told ya, I'm the hardcore king. No. Okay, so let's expand the head this way and then bring it out a little more in the front, maybe like four blocks like that, maybe? How'd I do that zombie one over there? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think this ought to work. Now we're gonna use brown terracotta for the mouth right here and black for the nose and eyes. Why does the brown terracotta look so weird on this guy? I did the same thing for my zombie statue. Oh, wait. I didn't use any dirt or granite on my skeleton. I just used all gray blocks. Whoopsies. That was kind of an oversight by me. So let me just fix this. Boom, boom, boom. And that's much better. Look at this guy. He's so handsome. Dude, what? <laughs> Why is there a wandering trader in the head? Hello, buddy. I don't got time for you today, but I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Oh no, he despawned! That was so unexpected! Dang it, man. And now, just like my other mob statues, I want to make some decorations on top of the skeleton. Now, for these bad boys, I've done- uh, I'm falling. <laughs> what I was gonna say is, for these bad boys, I made, like, villager houses, or, like, trees, or just, like, some random nature. So I'm probably gonna do something like that. So let's fly down here and grab some grass, and let's give this skeleton a nice hairpiece. Now we just throw in some trees, some bone meal, and I'm gonna put a little bit right here on the shoulders. And that is how you do it. And for the cherry on top, I think... I think I want to give this guy a bow. It's going to serve absolutely no function, but it'll look cool. Iron baby, die. Uh, it looks good, but I also think it looks way too small. I don't actually know what we did wrong there, but I'm gonna keep it because I think it looks good enough. Oh my gosh, from this angle, the bow looks so tiny, dude. Oh, it's so bad. But all right, all I gotta do now is make a little AFK room so I can let the skeleton spawn while I'm not playing. Oh, oh, we're oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Let me go up a little bit higher. Sorry, Mr. Skeletons. My bad. Right here should suffice. Why are there so many glow squid in my skeleton spawner, man? Stop that. Wait, ready? Check this out. Ah, uh, tinted glass on the floor so I can see the spawner in action? I say yes. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, the squids are still spawning. Why are they doing this? But regardless of our squiddy friends, all I care about is does the farm work? And the answer is no. Wait, what? Uh, one second. Oh, I see the issue. A couple missing signs. All right, that should fix it. Ah, uh, there we go. It's working again. And the loot is bountiful, including glow ink sacks. It's a squid and bone farm. Pretty cool. But guys, that's gonna be it from me. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. Everybody has a cell phone these days. Except Minecraft. I thought this game was realistic. So today, I'm gonna collect thousands of blocks and build the world's biggest smartphone, which will contain fully functional Minecraft-themed apps. All in Minecraft Hardcore. All right, where are we gonna build this giant thing? Perhaps somewhere around here? Yeah, why not? So I began terraforming a nice big area for us to build upon. Oh, are you excited to get an iPhone? Well, you're not getting one. It's for me. Okay, this should be big enough, I hope. Now let's take out some grass and put this thing to the test.
And... Oh my gosh, look at the size of it. Well, it looks like a phone, which is really cool, but I did not realize how tall it was actually going to be. Oh, uh, this might be a really painful episode. But okay, let's go make ourselves a Minecraft phone. So if I was going to pull this build off, I had to figure out all the small things that make up an iPhone. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Adventure time. So I hopped in my car and headed down to the nearby Apple store so I could study every single single phone they have. Well, I may be banned from Apple for touching too many phones, whatever that means, but I think we're ready to build this bad boy. Whee! Okay, so the first thing we need to build is the phone case. And for the color, we're gonna keep it nice and simple and use gray terracotta. The perfect phone block. Wait, that's cyan terracotta. Well, that kind of complicates things. We're fine. We're just gonna need some cacti, some lapis, and of course, a whole bunch of terracotta. And as I collect all this terracotta, please subscribe and hit the bell. Well, that took longer than I expected, but okay, let's bring the terracotta across the bottom, raise up the sides, and I also grabbed some gray wool that we can mix in for a little bit of color variation. Let's do this thing. All right, I might need to get a bed first. Stupid mobs. I'll be taking this. All right, back to work. Day 43 of placing blocks. I can no longer feel my fingers. Now we just tear down this dirt outline. And wow, that is big. I still feel like it's missing something though. <gasps> I got it. What's the one thing that every single iPhone has on the back? Big apple. Yeah. And to finish off the phone case, I built some volume buttons on the side and the iconic cameras on the back. Whoa, this looks really weird from the front. But all right, now it's time to move on to the front of the phone, AKA the fun part. So our plan for the front is to build a giant glass screen. And later on, that's where I'll be building all my Minecraft apps. But before all of that, we're gonna need a bunch of quartz and probably some XP for my pickaxe. Much better. Back to getting quartz. You see, most phones have this weird space at the top and bottom of the front. I don't really know what it's used for, but it is my duty as a Minecraft YouTuber to build an accurate phone. So I'm doing it. I don't like this place. But okay, let's fly down here and let's take our quartz and just bring these across like this. Yeah, that's not bad. Now we're just gonna make a thin little strip here that will connect to the top part. Ah! Mm. That was so avoidable. Oh, my last totem. Gotta be careful today. Looking good, looking good. And for the cherry on top, one big old power button in the middle. Do phones even have those buttons anymore? I don't know, but I also don't care. This thing looks awesome. Now all I gotta do is put a little border around the quartz part so the phone isn't so hollow. Also, hello, Mr. Zombie. Let's try to find a block that isn't a pain to collect. Perhaps obsidian? Bro, what are you talking? about, man. No, I'm not even joking. I have so much of it. Shout out to all those days of me mining end towers. It's finally paying off. I wonder what would happen if Please, 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 please. Yes! <laughs> Come on. Oh, I want a giant nether portal. Well, I'm kind of sad now. But putting my sadness aside, it's officially time for us to start working on the screen. And after doing some testing off camera, I've concluded that the best block for a phone screen is black glass. But the question that everyone's asking is, do I have any black glass? I have two blocks. That's not gonna get it done. But that doesn't matter because down here below my rocket ship, I have an infinite sand farm. I just break these, put these right here, and I flick the lever and look at the infinite sand get flushed into the portal. Boy, do I love being lazy. Now we just smelt it all up and dye it all black. I thought I had black dye already. It's actually impressive how unprepared I always am. Hi, sorry, it's not personal. I'm sorry, so sorry, immensely sorry. Oh, you're doing it for me. Okay. But all right, let's build ourselves a giant glass screen. 
Oh, you can see right through it. I guess that's how glass is supposed to work. But we're gonna need something to cover the back of that because that just looks stupid. Okay, what block should we use for our phone background? Ooh, I'm not just saying it because I have a lot of it, but light blue wool looks pretty darn good. Let's give it a try. <laughs> What the heck is going on right now? Oh my gosh, another one! Why are there so many spiders climbing up my phone? I'm so confused right now. So much better. Farzi approves. Now, if our goal today was to make a phone that doesn't work, we are all done. But me and you both know that we're not stopping until we have a working phone. So it's time to bring this bad boy to life. But first, we're gonna need a lot of scaffolding. This phone is really big. Ah, isn't that just gorgeous. All right, so let's fly down here and let's start building up. Wait, what? How do you build up with this stuff? Oh, I, I get it. I, I get it. What a stupid feature. It's so weird, man. And boom. Perfect. Why can't I go this way anymore? Can I go this way? I don't understand scaffolding at all. Forget this. I'm sick of it. I'll just stick to my good old fashioned dirt pillars. So much more simple. So the first thing we did was build the stuff at the top of the phone, like the time, the battery, the cell service, and the front camera. And of course, I was super humble about it. Oh my gosh. How is one man so good at Minecraft? Like, look at that thing. Oh, I'm so proud of it. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the most exciting part of the entire video, which is making all the apps. This is gonna be so epic. So we're gonna be building 12 unique apps marked by these wool blocks. And just like in real life, every single app is gonna have a very specific function, like games, social media, or a lifestyle app. All in Minecraft. All right, so the first app I'll be making today is everyone's favorite social media platform, YouTube. They may pay my bills, but not bias. Awkward segue. Okay, so we're gonna start off by landing on this beautiful dirt platform. That was a sick landing. Kind of impossible, but I'll take it. And now we're gonna break down all this white wool and make a little bit of a room where the app is gonna go. Eh, I don't think this thing is big enough. Fine, we're going deeper. This is gonna look very, very strange. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you guys like it? It's definitely roomy. The back definitely looks a little strange, but with great apps comes great sacrifice. Oh, not this much sacrifice. Oh, let's get back to our YouTube app, shall we? So very simply, we're gonna take our red and white wool and YouTubeify the entire room. How hard would it be to make the YouTube logo? Probably not too hard, right? Come on. That is that is not the YouTube logo at all. One second here. Yeah, that's how we do it. Absolutely perfecto. Nice. Now, you might be saying, Farzy, why is there one wall in the back that has nothing on it? And that, my friends, is where the magic happens. Oh, I'm all out. One second on the magic, please. Now for the magic. Behold a working YouTube app. Stacking this paper and mining these diamonds. My hardcore world is literally the finest. Minecraft YouTubers call me your highness. You wanna L build me? You nice. must be blinded. And just like that, app number one is complete. It's kind of stupid, but also kind of funny. On to the next one. But staying on the topic of social media, I decided to build Instagram, which contained a beautiful room full of gorgeous paintings and a few funny clips. <laughs> That's a funny clip right there. Oh, I'm so cringe. Then we made Twitter, which is basically a huge room filled up with a whole bunch of annoying parrots squawking their silly opinions at me. Uh, Charlton, can you tell your friends to stop being so loud? I don't care about your opinions. And who is this guy? All right, I'm sick of social media. Why don't we move on to some games? Right after a little pit stop, I need some food. Thank you. It's game time. So the first game we'll be making will be called Creeper Survival. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would trap 100 creepers in a room and try and survive. 
and you guys absolutely smashed it. So why not make a game out of it? What could possibly go wrong here? Okay, first up, we're gonna need a whole lot of dirt. Thank you. And we're also gonna need 100 name tags. All right, who's selling them? Bob, how about you? No. What about you? Nope. Wait, I know. Come on, where is the man? Hello there, mister. I know what you have. Give me all of it. Yes. And it's showtime. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a giant staircase to get the creepers up into the app room. Hopefully I brought enough dirt for this. All right, good. Now just to creeper proof all the walls. And here is our creeper arena. Now to fill this bad boy up with the subjects. I'll be back in a couple of hours. <sighs> Okay, here we are. Probably 100 creepers. And you do not want to know how stressful this was to do. All right, there's no going back now. It's time to play Can You Survive 100-ish Creepers? And the answer is... Oh, there's still more! Yes, the answer is yes! Charlton! No! Ow! Say it ain't so, he's gone! How did that even happen? It was supposed to be a fun, cheerful game, and now there's parrots in here somehow. I don't understand anything. My entire day is ruined now. But that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will travel down to an ancient city and try and survive there with absolutely no items. And that includes no totem either. Oh, wait. I probably need to refill my creeper game. I mean, no one's gonna beat my high score, but I'll just get a couple of these guys. The app still has to work in Charlton's honor. Nope, not again, not again, not again, not again. I'm just gonna back away from you guys. See you later. But continuing on, another great game idea I had was Snowball Throw. And as you can probably expect, we collected snowballs, which would be used to throw at target blocks scattered around this wintry themed room. And the only way to win the game is to hit every single target. Okay, well, I can definitely hit the targets with the snowballs, but what about arrows? Boom, boom, boom. All bullseyes. Eh. <sighs> On. And for our last game, we're gonna build probably the greatest game ever made. Minecraft! But like the pocket edition on your phone. Let's do it! So the only way to build Minecraft in Minecraft is to take blocks and build Minecraft in, in Minecraft. You know what I mean. So let's fly in here and place down some green concrete powder to kind of replicate grass. Then we're gonna take some brown concrete powder and make kind of like a normal Minecraft terrain. This being dirt, this being the grass on top. And finally, we're gonna use some light blue and some white for the skies and the clouds. And a few details later, we have this masterpiece. But something is still missing. And there's only one way to fix that. So I downloaded Minecraft Pocket Edition and began building something that I could recreate inside of my phone. And I would say I did a pretty good job. And there we have it. Minecraft Pocket Edition inside of Minecraft Java Edition. Oh, this house is horrid. I much prefer keyboard and mouse for my Minecraft experience. But okay, we are officially halfway done with our apps. But there's more to life than just games and social media. So it's time to build some lifestyle style apps. And I have some sick ideas. First off, we collected a ton of different music discs and even built a disco room. Also, we could have our very own music app, which of course led to some patented farzy disco breaks. I then decided, me being a big strong man, that we needed a fitness app. So I built some workout machines, some vending machines for health potions, and I even invited Minecraft's strongest villagers. Uh, fine. Take them, take them all, take them all. Don't hurt me, please. They are so muscly. Gentlemen, welcome to your new home. Best idea ever. And last but not least, we're gonna be building a villager dating app. I'm gonna need you, and I'm gonna need you. Where, where are you? Where are you going? Stop moving so much. Jeez, stupid villagers. Nobody's gonna wanna date you. 
All right, cool. They're up here. Now we just got to figure out how to make a villager breeder so we can have enough participants for our app. And lucky for you, I am a genius. I know what I'm doing. I need some grass, some crops. Thank you. And a bunch of other random stuff. I hope we have enough space for this thing. I mean, we could expand the back out a little bit, but hopefully not. Why does the phone look like an Among Us character with a backpack on? Oh, I'm never gonna unsee that, am I? So, I kind of forgot you need farmer villagers. Just one little mistake today. Introducing Villager Matchmaker. What we have here is a state-of-the-art technology where villagers will breed up there, making more villagers, which will come down here and swing around in this whirlpool I made. Then our lucky villager friend up here, who is single, will get to pick his favorite villager partner. Let's see this thing in action. Uh, maybe it has to be daytime? Come on, do the thing. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, that's what I'm talking about. We got a few selections. So, buddy, who do you want? Behind me? Hey, no, 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 no. He's not one of the options. Go back up to your app. Or maybe I'll just I'll just be quiet. Okay, 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 okay. He can do whatever he wants. Now, to be totally honest, at this point in the video, I just wanted to get the apps over with. I've been working on this phone for almost two weeks. But that being said, I was determined to finish this amazing build, so off I went for the final three apps. I built a food delivery app called Moober Eats. Mr. Moober, how are things looking here? I'll take that as a good. Followed up by an amazing calculator app featuring our best friend, Broderick. I promise you guys, you can ask him anything and he will not get it wrong. Broderick, what's one plus one? Is it two or... He, he already knew. Five times five. 25 or 797. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Think. 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 I think he's busy doing theories and working on his chalkboard. He knew the answer. He's just a busy guy. You know how they are. Scientists, am I right? But okay, guys, we can officially say our phone is complete. Oh, wait, I forgot one. I think this phone needs an option for dark mode. And there's only one way to do that. Uh, uh, on second thought, I'm gonna get out of here. Why don't we just use this thing instead? Light mode and dark mode. Much less deadly. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. I have a lot of really cool farms in this world, but I'm also missing quite a few. Or I have them, but they just really are terrible farms. So let's change that. Today, we're gonna build fully on automatic machines for things like crops, animals, gems, and a bunch of other cool stuff. And then we'll combine them all, making the greatest automatic farm in all of Minecraft Hardcore. Okay, well, we're gonna start things off by making the crop farms, which means we gotta find a location because I think we're gonna need a lot of space for this kind of thing. But you know what? I'm not picky. Let's just do it right here. My land now. Sorry, my bad. So the only way to make a fully automatic crop farm is by using villagers in a totally kind and ethical manner, of course. So we're gonna need quite a lot of dirt. And then we're gonna take said dirt and build up and make a giant farmland thing in the sky. Now we just gotta break these middle blocks I place, put down a slab and put water on that. And then we go composter, light, and I think that's it. And all that's left to do now is hoe all the land. Wait, what? Why are you not like that? Ah, uh, what is going on? Oh, wait, I'm dumb. I was definitely supposed to chop out all these middle blocks here. That would explain a lot. Much better. Okay, now we gotta get some cro- Ow. Help. I was gonna say, we gotta get some crops. All right, what do we got here? We got carrots, potatoes. Uh, what else is there? Oh, duh, wheat. And... Where is it? I saw it here a second ago. Aha, beetroot. Perfect. Whee! I think I already lost my farm. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, there it is. Okay, so essentially we're gonna have each of these squares as one kind of crop. So this will be all wheat. These will be beets, potatoes, carrots. You get the idea. <laughs> So, to the untrained eye, this probably looks like a very simple and stupid wheat farm. But once we get the villagers in here, they're gonna pick up the crops, throw the extra crops into hoppers, and thereby giving me infinite...
crops. It'll all make sense shortly. So I flew to a nearby village and grabbed some generous volunteers to come help with the farm. Come on, you idiot. Come this way. Oh, these guys are so stupid. One eternity later. And all right, we have all the villagers up here. Sweet. That was super easy, right? <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. What's going on? How you doing? Oh no, he despawned. So tragic. But okay, now that we got all the villagers up here, we just gotta make a little collection system in the middle to get all the crops. Boom, boom, boom. Place some safety blocks around the sides. And now, last but not least, I gotta get this idiot separated in the middle. Come on. Get in the boat. Good. And... Oh, no, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're okay. No, oh, no, we're not fine. Just please, please be safe. And... Oh. He's supposed to stay in the middle hopper, but he's not cooperating at all right now. Just stay there. Just stay, just stay there. Just stay there. Just stay there. All right, I got him. That's fine. That's okay. I'll take it. And a little bit later, this baby should be working. Now time for the test. And as we wait, please subscribe and hit the bell. And let's see what the doctor ordered. Oh, that's actually really good. Well, there's also no wheat, which is kind of weird, but you know what? I will take the farm. It works, so yeah. Great success. But seriously, dog, you gotta like figure your stuff out here. I need some wheat seeds too. Okay, bye. But now it was time to move on to the animal farms, which means we're gonna need quite a bit of redstone, which I know for a fact I do not have a lot of, so we're going mining. I'm looking for a big cave. Aha, here we go, perfect. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. We're good, we're good, we're good. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah. Do you mind? Oh boy, <laughs> why is there a chicken right there? <laughs> But okay, that should be good. Now, all we gotta do is find some animals. Right after I get another totem, because I don't want to die in this world. Cow, chicken, sheep, you get the idea. Okay, first up, we're going for the chicken farm. And this one is super cool, because unlike most animal farms, this one runs fully automatically. Which means I can get a free supply of cooked chicken for the rest of eternity. Now, just to get these idiots up here. Uh, dude, come, come on. Come on. Yes, come on. Yes, perfect. Oh, you're the worst. Come on, good. Now this goes here. Lava goes in here. And... Twenty minutes later... Oh, it did it. It worked. All right, sweet. So yeah, the chickens lay eggs. Their eggs go in here. When the chickens grow up, they become adults and they die from lava and I get free food. It's fine. The chickens love it. They're very happy in that little one by one pen. <laughs> Next up on the list, we had the cow and pig farms, which ironically are the exact same design. Whoa, why are there so many zombies down there, dude? Not really relevant, but I'm just curious. Is this like something going on down here? Well, I don't really care. I got farms to make. Okay, this is by far the worst part of the entire video is getting animals up the stairs. Come on. No, just come this way. Come. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys are the worst. Just come up the stairs. Just come up the stairs. Oh. <laughs> And a little bit later, we have our subjects. So basically, we pop up here, we press the button to levitate the animals, then we breed them. And the babies fall down into here. I press this button when they grow up, and they die and give me more food. Not the most complicated farm, but it gets the job done. And last but not least, we gotta make a bee farm. I was gonna do a sheep farm too, but I forgot I already have a giant wool factory back home. Sorry, don't need ya. All right, easy enough. I'm pretty sure these bee farms are really slow, but they are simple, so this should be working eventually. But okay, that officially concludes all the animal farms. But we still do have a pretty big problem here. So the whole purpose of this project is to have all the farms loot connecting into one centralized area. And obviously that is not the case right now. So we need to get some more redstone and figure that thing out. So first off, we're gonna craft a whole bunch of hoppers. Boom. And I'm thinking if we can get underneath these chests here, I could make like a hopper line like 
down there and connect it all. Let's give it a try. So we go boom, and then we go this way. I really hope this thing works. Okay, this thing looks really messy now, but it should be working. Also, why are you here? Go away. But essentially, if we go up to, where is it? Uh, right over here. Yeah, right here. Every single item from all five farms should go to this hopper, which means later on, I can make a little redstone thing and have the items go to a chest room. Problem solved for now. Carrying on, it's time for us to move on to the next batch of farms, which is the ore farms. And I have one very specific one to start out with. Making a better iron farm. Like, I do have an iron farm here, but it's really slow and I just don't get enough iron from it. So we're gonna have to redo it over yonder, which means we're gonna need to go get even more villagers. <laughs> Uh, speaking of villagers, hello, buddy. Why are you up on the roof up there? I'm gonna leave you be. He looks so cozy up there. But in addition to villagers, I also need a whole bunch of glass and a little bit of lava. Boop, boop, boop. Off we go. So let's fly down here and we'll put the iron farm right about here. Okay. Now just for the villagers, which apparently are already in a boat. But I'm not gonna question it. I want you, and I want you in a separate boat. Yes, perfect. And I'll take one more just to be safe. Get in the, okay, thank you. Come on, lads, we're going home. Yes, come on, we're almost there. No, you idiot, go the other way. Stop fighting me, go that way. Oh, these guys are so annoying. Why are you going this way? Just stay over there. I am going to lose my mind at these villagers right now. Get your stupid face in that direction. Yeah, keep going. I don't wanna be like this, but you're being so difficult. Where are you going? All right, we got three villagers in the farm, which now means we just gotta get one lucky zombie. Because basically, if we put a zombie right there in the middle of the villagers, they're gonna summon iron golems up here in the water, which will fall into the lava and give us iron. So you, Mr. Green Guy, you're gonna come with me up here. Ow, oh, don't, don't kill me. Oh, 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 Everything bad just happened there that could have happened. Oh, this video is stressing me out. Attempt number two. Come on, where's the zombies? <gasps> Zombie. Mwah. Yes, come with me. All right, good. He's smart. He has a brain. Or does he? Because he's a zombie. Okay, go right here. Yes, and I push you in and I place the block. Oh, no, stay, stay, stay. Yes, okay. Absolutely perfect. And look at that. The golems are already spawning. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. It actually is working. Oh, yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to build the most exciting farm of the entire video. We need to make a gold farm. And just like my iron farm, I technically already have have one, but it's just not very efficient. So we're gonna make a gigantic one and it's gonna be sick. Okay, this one's gonna be really interesting. How do I even do this? I guess I'm just gonna build up here and we're gonna make a giant nether portal like this. Okay, cool. Now we just go back through here and we're gonna mark, I think, this block right here. And here is where the magic happens. We are looking for magma cube. No, not cube. What's it called? Magma blocks. Yeah, that stuff right there. So we're just gonna gently glide down. Okay, we're good. And we just gotta get a whole lot of this stuff. Oh, as you can see, it's kind of dangerous, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> Will it though? Oh dear. Excuse me, do you mind? The nerve of some people, man. Oh, the nerve! I'm sick of this place. I think we're good now, so I'm gonna go back. So the reason we got all the magma blocks is because pigmen can actually spawn on here. So if I make a giant circle of these in the sky, a bunch of pigmen are gonna spawn. And then we can push them into a portal and get all of them into one chamber for their loot. But I'm not gonna lie, I've never made one of these before besides that little one over there, which is really small. So everybody cross your fingers. I'm having a ton of fun right now. Well, what do we think? I definitely say it's big enough and it is deep enough. So now we just gotta do a little bit of gas proofing up here. So we're gonna take some glass and go up and make these little strips here so the gas can't fit between them. Just like this. Good. And last but not least, we just gotta lure all these piglins down into the hole by using... If I can just squeeze down here and go back home real quick. One second. We're gonna need some turtle eggs. Don't ask me why turtle eggs work for this farm, but they just do. But I'm not gonna complain. All right, so we're gonna go turtle egg there and put trap doors on all the sides. 
And these idiots should, yep, try and get the egg and they fall to their death and I get free gold. Is it working? I see loot, but... Oh, well, it is working, but it's going really slowly. Wait, I can fix that. I'm pretty sure I remember you need to make like a AFK room in the sky for these kind of farms. So what if I just kind of build up like this? Okay, good. Oh my gosh, there's so many now. Uh, yeah, this, this is gonna work just fine. <laughs> Great success. Now all I had to do was make a bunch of portals on this farm so it links up to the automatic farming area in the overworld. Well, all right, we have the portal all set up with the glass walls around it. I had to kind of adjust it to make it fit. But now this should be pretty straightforward. We're just gonna place down a bunch of hoppers around the bottom here. And now all we gotta do is fly back into the portal and simply let the gold collect. And, oh, it appears we've made a grave mistake here. The piglins are supposed to be dead right now. Uh, one second. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Do we have any gold? Oh, I fell. I'm just, well, I think there was gold up there, but I also lost another totem because I am stupid. But yes, indeed, the gold farm does now work. Whew. And now, with all the main farms out of the way, I threw in a few other cool farms, like a cacti farm, a bamboo farm, and a chorus fruit farm. On second thought, I have no idea how to farm these things automatically. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys, with all the farms officially out of the way, there's one thing left to do, and that is connect all the farms using hoppers and make a gigantic storage system. Right, buddy? I think he agrees. So for the second time today, we gotta go find us some redstone. Wait, you don't need redstone to make hoppers. You need iron. Oops, this'll be much easier now. Here goes nothing. I'm probably doing this in the messiest way possible, but I think it's working out. Oh, I'm wasting so much iron doing this. <laughs> and boom, boom. And I think that is it, right? I think all the farms are connected. Now I just got to make some more storage right down here by putting some hoppers up there. Oh, oh, no! Are you holding a sword? How is that even possible? Why? 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 Not again, not again, not again. I can't keep doing this today, man. I'm going to actually lose the world one of these times. Also, how is that guy holding a sword? I'm so confused right now. Let's try this again. So we place down dirt. We go hopper. We go chest and more hopper and more chest. And by the end of it, we should have one final chest with a ton of different kinds of loot. All I see is potatoes right now, but I'm going to give it some time. And while we wait for that, I have a confession. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would make an original Minecraft song sung by your boy. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't think it'd be that hard. I really struggled and couldn't sing or write, or do anything for that matter. So that being said, I'm giving myself an extension. So next episode, I promise you're gonna hear the most amazing Minecraft song in the history of Minecraft songs. If you're excited, like the video. But okay, baby, do we have? Oh, yes, we do. All right, the farm is working in all its capacity. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, there's also carrots on the floor over here. Is everything... All right up there. Can you guys keep it together, please? I'm trying to make a whole farm system here and you're kind of ruining it. But all right, guys, that's going to be it from me. So I hope you enjoyed this little weird farm video. It's pretty silly and dumb, but I had fun. <laughs> make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. Not long ago, I built up into the clouds and created a custom sky temple. And it was probably one of my favorite builds of all time. But today we're going to take it one step further. We're going to expand this project and make a giant floating sky village fully equipped with custom cloud islands tons of unique buildings and of course real live residents all in minecraft hardcore okay so first off if we're gonna expand upon this build we're gonna need to get a lot of glass because as you can see these clouds are not easy to make Whee! so we're gonna need some white dye in the form of bones thank you thank you thank you we're also gonna need some ink sacks and of course a whole bunch of sand and if you know me you already know i'm not gonna mine it by hand i'm gonna hop down here and use my automatic sand farm because i am very lazy boom 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 and boom i'm gonna be here for quite a while 
All right, that should be good. And now we just gotta smelt it. I hope this build comes out good because we are gonna be using so many materials today. Yeah. So my plan for this sky village is to take all the glass and build a bunch of different custom clouds. Then on top of the clouds, we're gonna build all the different buildings for the village. So without any further ado, let's fly up to the main cloud and get started. Okay, so where do we even begin here? Well, I brought a bunch of dirt with me, so maybe I can just kind of like pillar out in each direction and make like a cloud, you know, every which way coming out here, something like that. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Okay, let's see what we came up with. That looks horrifying. But I promise you it's going to be very amazing shortly. So bear with me here. Go away. Oh, I just yeeted that guy so far. But now here comes the fun part where I take all the colorful glass I crafted up and we start building clouds on the end of the dirt. So we're going to go like this and sprinkle in some gray and kind of make a circle thing. Then we go up a little bit and come across and just... Do this for thousands of blocks. Wish me luck. This might take a very, very long time. Hee <laughs> hee. And a little bit later, we have a cloud. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It looks pretty good, but it is not hollow. So it's going to be a lot of glass we're using today. But regardless, I think it looks pretty sweet. Now we just got to make like seven more of these things. And I think it's time for a time lapse. Okay, how about that? We got seven little cloud islands and oh my gosh, this took a long time to do. Like 24 hours of grinding out more glass and placing said glass and yeah. So I'd really appreciate if you subscribed and hit the bell, teehee. Thank you. But in all seriousness, it is now time for us to begin building our village upon these cloud islands. We're gonna have things like a housing cloud, a farming cloud, a library, a shopping mall, etc., etc. And I guess the middle building here can be like the town hall kind of thing. I think it kind of looks like one. But of course, if we're gonna build any of that stuff, we gotta go get some materials. This is gonna be interesting. So my plan plan for these buildings is to use all white themed materials to match the cloud color. So I hopped into a separate creative mode world, went through all the blocks in the game, and made a list for myself. I think we can make these guys work. Back to my hardcore world. So the block I really want to focus on at first is quartz. Mostly because there's so many different variations for these blocks, so there's just a lot we can do with it. Oh, I'm breaking my house. Sorry, sorry. But there is one small issue regarding getting quartz. They are extremely dangerous and annoying to collect. I also literally don't see any quartz here. I think I've mined them all. Okay, I, I just lied. But the point still stands. I need a plan B for getting quartz, and I think I have an idea. You guys stay there. I'll be right back. So basically, if you take a piglin and give him gold, he might give you quartz. So if you have a giant gold farm to get a lot of gold, then we can, in theory, get a lot of quartz. All right, my piglin brothers, keep falling down there and giving me free gold. <laughs> All right, I'm back with a plethora of gold. So we're going to put the gold up in this chest right here. And we're going to smack the button and... Yes, yes, it's dispensing. Now we just let the magic happen. Two hours later. All right, fingers crossed. I only see 44 quartz. Where's the rest of the... Uh, okay. Have I ever told you guys how much I love mining quartz by hand? It's so safe and fun. Uh, so much pain. I wish there was a way to get quartz faster Cause I'm getting bored and sadder by the minute Why that song actually sounds sad <laughs> And after collecting a good amount of quartz I also ran and got some white concrete and some bone blocks Personally, I think these blocks are gonna fit in very nicely With the whole cloud vibe we got going on Let's do it <laughs> And for the first cloud, we're gonna be building a place for the villagers' houses Which I think should go right over here Okay so I'm thinking we're gonna do like two or three houses using quartz just to accommodate all the guests we're gonna have here. Is that a creeper on top? <laughs> What's that guy doing there? Carrying on. Uh, is this gonna fit here? I like didn't make the cloud actually that big. Uh, I guess we just gotta wait and see. 
Okay, it's all right, but something is definitely missing here. One moment, please. Come on, where are you? Oh, I see you down there. Give me the white stuff. Oh, I didn't mean that stuff, but it's fine. It's okay. I have what I want. And the reason I got some of that diorite is because quartz don't have any walls for some reason, but if I could just find a crafting bench, that'd be really cool. Yoink. We can make diorite walls and we can toss these bad boys in right here. And there we go. Those are our weird looking windows. And we put a few of them here and put some slabs on top. And bada bing, bada boom. We officially have ourselves our very first... Why is there a hole there? Our very first house with a bed. Sweet. I should probably fix that though. And as promised, I built a few more houses of varying shapes and sizes. I just barely got these houses to fit. They're like right against the edge. But besides that, they look really cool. The only downside is I don't know what to do for a door because I don't want mobs to get in here, but also there's no white doors. Wait, actually there is. I'm just gonna borrow some of you right here. I just realized I have no totem and could have died right there. Who cares? Okay, boom, boom, and boom. Ah, ah, what do you guys think? Is that weird looking or do you like it? I don't know, but it's good enough for me because I want villagers to be safe, so... Yeah, we're good. And that should conclude our first cloud. Now it's time to go get a totem. Oh, well, we're all out. I'll be right back. But after getting more totems from my raid farm, it was time for our next cloud. The farming cloud. So this one's gonna be interesting because crops are usually green, but my clouds are white. So we're gonna have to get kind of creative here. All right, I have a vibe in my head right now and I think it might be really cool. So what if I take some of these cool blocks and we make like the farm outline out of quartz? Something kind of like this. Then we put the dirt in the middle and put the crops here and the water here and it'll be like a, a cloudy, heavenly, stupid little farm. I like it. I just need some water. Yum, yum. Why'd I say yum? And we go. Bada bing. Bada. Boom. And a little bit of this and a whole lot of that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? What'd I do wrong? We have a leak. Eh. Eh, yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good. Everything is fine. Now we're just gonna make a few more of these. And just like that, another cloud is complete. I also add in a few of these slabs here just to kind of make it look a little pointy and not so boring, but uh, blah, 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 blah. nobody asked. But before we carry on to our next cloud island, I want to figure out how we can actually get across here without using all this dirt. Because I don't think there's dirt on clouds, or maybe there is, but I didn't pay attention in school. Kids, stay in school. But I think I have a cool plan for this, so I kind of want to break the dirt and make like little puffs of clouds that we can like parkour and hop across to get back to the main island. So we'll do some of this and do like a little puff like that then go like a space of like three and just do this over and over and see how it looks. All right, let's give this thing a try. So we're going to start here. We're going to go boom, boom. Oh, it's so hard to see with the gray glass. I don't like this at all. Ugh, okay, 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 I failed. It could use a little bit more work, but overall, I think it's a pretty cool concept, right? Got it. Easy. I'm a pro. I'm the best. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. So let's go make a ton more of these around all the islands. Don't you just love causing unneeded stress for no reason? I love it. Oh yeah, this looks sweet. What? I'm inside the cloud. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Carrying on. For the third island, I decided to build a sky library filled to the brim with bookshelves. Perhaps you could call it the sky Ha, ha, ha. No. I'm not funny at all. And after that, I decided to build an iron golem factory so I can have iron golem security guards to protect our future villagers. So the plan for the factory is actually really simple. On the inside here, there are four separate pens for iron golems. So a Essentially, we're gonna grab a whole bunch of iron. Perfect. And of course, pumpkins. Because every golem needs one of those. And now, we're gonna have golem- well, I went right through the building there. <laughs> we're gonna have golems on command. So I'll put these little things like this, throw a pumpkin like right here, and all I gotta do is come up, grab it, and go boom. Uh, I didn't actually mean to make him, but whatever, that's fine. The Iron Golem Factory. It's perfect. 
Oh, I did again. I'm not thinking. I'm so used to just making golems. Oh, wait. They totally can't do this parkour, can they? I'm just gonna have to place golems manually around the place myself. But who cares? It's still a cool looking building, right? Sure. And that'll be it. Oh, man, we're making such good progress on this. I'm, like, loving this whole build so far. And I'm actually curious. How does it look from the ground, like, down here? Whoa, that is so cool, dude. Oh, my gosh, look at that. That looks so epic. Oh, I'm in love with this project already. It's so good. But anyways, while I get some more materials from my other cloud bases, I want to show you guys something really important. And by really important, I mean really embarrassing. Last month, I made a promise that if one of my old videos got a certain amount of likes, I would create an original Minecraft song. And you guys definitely did the thing. I'm looking for some diamonds, I'm sick of this iron I wanna fight the dragon, but my gear is lacking I need me some diamonds But all I see is tough, you can't make this up I need me more stuff, I don't have enough I'm feeling kinda rough, and I have dandruff I don't know why I said that, let's get back to the the diamonds oh where are my diamonds i just feel like crying i need me some diamonds these giant caves confusing this issue is not amusing oh what's that over there some diamonds to spare i finally found my diamonds Let's craft all this up now we have better stuff Now I'm looking for the stronghold It's time to go, come on bro Elytra's on the way So there's no time to stay We rush into the portal There's no time to be cordial Let's go and bite this dragon My arrow's flying like magic Hit after hit His health's getting split We finally beat him I'm happy, I'm gleeful All thanks to my diamonds there's no more crying it's time to get my elytra and get out of here we did it no fear diamonds this song is really cringe don't show this to women no i don't want to show my face on camera ever again but that being said if this video gets 10,000 likes i will blindfold myself and try and survive an entire day in a mine shaft because who doesn't like risking their entire relevancy just for a few likes like the video but next up on my list of things to build is i want to build a villager shopping center kind of cloud and this one's going to be very interesting because i'm totally going to wing it absolutely zero planning so i'm kind of envisioning like a little shopping market kind of vibe. So I'm gonna use some of these walls to build like spikes or pillars and then build across this way like this and sprinkle in some bones and uh, I don't know about this. Let's just, let's just try it. Uh, it kind of looks all right. I mean, it's not perfect, but it does look kind of like a shop in my opinion. Let's just build some more and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, I don't hate it. Each shop is a little bit taller and shorter. There's a bed behind it. I just think it's missing one last thing. Some barrels for the shopkeeper's inventory. And yes, I know these don't fit the theme of the cloud at all, but what else can I do? It has to be realistic. My giant floating cloud city needs to be realistic. But speaking of being realistic, this is a good time to go get some villagers because we need shopkeepers for our island and the other islands. Oh boy, this is gonna be really fun trying to get villagers hundreds of blocks in the sky without them dying. Super easy. That was intentional. But don't you worry, Farzi has a foolproof plan. We're just gonna need some boats and some patience. I just gotta find a village, which I think there's one up in this direction over here by the shore, maybe? Perhaps. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Oh yeah, we have the mother load. Children, get in. We're going on vacation. Right this way. Oh, this is a really bad time to be trapping villagers out in the open. Sleep, 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 sleep. Rise and shine. What a beautiful day to kidnap some poor villagers.
Okay, I managed to get three over here without dying. The rest didn't make it, unfortunately. But this should be fine, because now we're going to build a water elevator and shoot them up into the sky. So you guys stay here. I need kelp and soul sand and stuff like that. BRB! Come on, 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 come on. Yes! I got my soul sand and I got my kelp. Now let the master do his work. All right, this thing should be working. If I step in here... Oh, yep. Okay, yep, it works. We're good. And up here at the very top, we are now at the cloud. Whee! On his head! Oh my... You take damage from boats? Good thing I had a totem. All right, step right up. We're going in the tunnel thing. Go, buddy. I believe in you. And he's up there. Easy peasy. Cool. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, oh, my goodness. Get on the island. What are you guys doing? Please be careful. Be safe. Move. Oh, you want a bear bowl. You guys want some treats? Oh, look at them. They're so cute. And get wrecked. Now I just got to breed these guys. So if I come here and get some carrots, boom, 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 and throw them over here, these guys should start breeding and thereby giving us an entire population of villagers. Hey, you, protect. If my friends die. I'm going to have a nice new set of iron armor, okay? Capiche. All right, back to work. But ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, we are now down to our final cloud island. And I've decided we're gonna make a windmill. Oh, did you want to know why? I don't know why. I just feel like making one. Not everything needs an explanation, okay? Leave me alone. It does it really look like a windmill. I mean, kinda, but okay, I don't care. It's done. But there we go, guys. That is officially the... Oh my gosh. I forgot a cloud. Uh, well, back to the drawing board. Oh man, I was so proud of myself there. Not anymore. Broderick, 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 Broderick. Hello. Oh, sorry, my bad. I shouldn't be holding that in your honor. Uh, hello. I need help. What do I build for my last island? I'm, I'm dumb and I'm out of ideas and help me. What's that? A tree, you say? A giant sky tree sounds awesome. Thank you, Broderick. Here, have a chicken. Okay, bye. And I gotta give it to him. That chicken sure does know his stuff, because this tree came out really, really thick. All right, that was insane, but we did it. But all in all, guys, I think we can officially say this cloud dimension town, 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 village thing. I can't speak. My brain is hurting. Ow. The point I'm trying to make is that this amazing build is officially complete. Wow, I love when I can totally see it and there's not a giant cloud in the way. But I know what'll cheer me up. Disco break! I'm looking for some diamonds. I'm sick of this iron. I wanna fight the dragon, but my gear is lag. Oh, this may be the cringiest video of all time. But that's gonna be it from me. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. Minecraft is having a mob vote, which means one of these three mobs will be added to the next big Minecraft. Minecraft update. But there is one problem. I don't know who to vote for. If only there was a way to see each mob in game so I could make a rational and informed decision before casting my vote. Oh wait, there is. Today, I'm gonna build a giant replica of all three mob options so I can decide which one is the best. All in Minecraft hardcore. So first up, we're gonna build the crab, who is for some reason blue. Are crabs even blue in real life? Huh. I guess they are blue. So that means we gotta get some blue materials for this bad boy. Perhaps some wool, question mark smiley face. And it also looks like he has a white belly and orange claws. So I'll take some of this and maybe some of this. Well, if I had any. BRB! <laughs> And that should be good. So the cool thing about the mob vote this year is that all the mobs are actually adorable. Unlike in previous years where they were very much weird and not lovable at all. Yeah, I'm looking at you, you cave goblin thing. But this year, all the mobs actually look good. So I don't care who wins as long as it's the one I want, you know? Which may or may not be the crab. So let's build him. Okay, we're gonna try our very best here. So let's make the legs like this. And then up here, we're gonna make his little blue body. So we'll go like up by one and then bring this across like that. And then here in the front, we have the big white belly, right? Okay, it kind of looks like Sonic the Hedgehog if he was flattened by a car. But I also kind to see the vision here, but I'm gonna need some more blocks. Okay, give me some light blue wool, some orange wool, and maybe a few of these mushroom stem blocks. Guys, trust me, I have a vision. Okay, so if I just sprinkle in a little bit of extra color here and there, and maybe change some of this dark blue to light blue...
All right, now we're cooking. That looks so much better. Now I just gotta cover up his belly and I gotta somehow make him eyes. So how do you make crab eyes? I need some black wool. Hey, stupid. <laughs> Come here, you. And whoop pow. Okay, check it out. Ready? We're gonna break this here and we're gonna go black eyes, little eye white part. And you know what I mean, right? And some crab lip things there. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm no crab expert, but I think homie- I'm, I'm in a cave. I think homie's looking pretty swag. And with the crab's body out of the way, all that was left was to build the giant claws. I really just don't understand why this crab is blue, but his claw is orange. I don't get the science behind it at all. And the verdict says... Whoa. I mean, it looks really dumb, but that's exactly how the claw looks. So maybe I'm calling Minecraft's crab dumb, but it looks realistic to what Minecraft wanted it to look like. This is kind of my way of subtly roasting Mojang. Love you guys. But obviously, I'm not just building the crab just to look at. The whole purpose of the mob vote is to vote on the features that the crab brings. According to Mojang, the crab will drop a crab claw, which can be used for extended building reach. Okay, so how can I display further building? Building reach. Ah! Uh, uh, all right, hear me out. Hear me out. So if I go inside the claw, let's pretend that this piston is like the extended reach, right? And this end rod here can be like the pickaxe. So if I do this a bunch of times, that's like me reaching further. <laughs> I now realize what this looks like, but I'm just gonna keep it because I need to have a function for the crab. So <laughs> awkward segue. Now, something else I really want to do for these mobs is build them a biome, just like a little diorama. So each of the mobs can be like living in their home. You know what I mean? And according to Mojang, the crabs would be spawning in the mangrove swamp. But I think this is kind of stupid because why would crabs be in the mud? Oh, I guess there are mud crabs, but I don't care. It's my world. And in my world, crabs spawn at the beach. Sand mining montage. So my plan for this is actually really simple. We're gonna do a little bit of terraforming, make a little exhibit using stone bricks and chains, kind of like a museum kind of vibe. And last but not least, make the actual mob's biome by his feet, which in this case will just be a whole bunch of sand. And as I build this crabby boy a sandy beach, please subscribe and hit the bell. And just like that, mob number one is complete. Hey, Mr. Spider, you should vote for the crab because he's also an arthropod. Science. Well, now you can't vote. That's what you get for being dumb. But now it's time to move on to Minecraft's second mob option, the armadillo. Now this guy's gonna be very interesting. Cause as you can see from this picture here, it's a lot of orange and brown and just not a lot of blocks that Minecraft has a lot of. So we're gonna have to get creative with this one. And our first pit stop will be at the Mesa biome because I see a lot of orangey blocks that look armadillo-ish. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. The orange, the normal, maybe a little a bit of brown. Okay, that should be good. But we're also gonna need some pinkish blocks to account for the armadillo's face and nose and such. So I'm thinking we do a little bit of pink terracotta and maybe a smidge of mangrove wood, AKA the medium rare steak block. I can never unsee it. Okay, so for the armadillo, I think his feet should be at the bottom. Well, obviously. But I'm thinking they should be pink and maybe have like jungle wood as like his toenails. We're getting really specific today. And of course, he needs four feet. Otherwise, that'd be kind of weird. Now in comes the body. So I'm gonna do a combination of terracotta and brown mushroom blocks just to kind of make like the shell color. And I'm pretty much just gonna raise this up like 10 blocks and make a giant armadillo shell. Also, are armadillos supposed to be like an insect or are they a Mammal, what are they? Kids, stay in school. Okay, hear me out. It looks like a loaf of bread, but I actually think it looks good for an armadillo. Like we got all the different colors of orange and brown and we have these like spiky things for the different layers on the shell. Do armadillos have tails? I feel like they do. Okay, cool. Ow. Hey, 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 hey. hey. 
I have no food. Stop it. I'm not dying on mob vote day. Or am I? No, I'm not. But alrighty. Now all we gotta do is make the armadillo's head, which I saved for last because I have no idea what they even look like in the face. I imagine it being kind of like a badger or a dog kind of thing. So we're gonna go with that. Right after I get some food, because again, not trying to die today. Ow. Thank you, Mr. Chicon. Oh my gosh. Unrelated, but last episode, I built that giant sky city and it just looks so cool. Not trying to brag, but I'm the best. Okay, so if his legs are pink, his face should probably be pink too, because that's like his complexion. So this is his nose and the bottom can have like lighter colors because science. And there's a skeleton inside of the armadillo for some reason. Can you please knock it off? Now we're going to use black wool for the eyeballs and put some armored plating like the shell up on top of his eyes like that, kind of. Just bear with me here, folks. And... Oh, no, just, <laughs> just no. I think he's missing something, like maybe some ears or whatever armadillos have on their body. Let's try some ears. Hey, you know what? That's actually not terrible now. The ears made it look kind of good. Well, all right, guys, there's the armadillo. Now we just got to figure out what his feature is. And according to the internet, he makes dog armor? Okay, I kind of like that. Let's go make some dog armor. Okay, first off, where are my dogs? Not a dog, not a dog, not a dog. Uh, anybody in my barn? Yes, I have dogs still. You, come with me. So tell me, what is the purpose of dog armor? That's a dumb question because you know the answer. It's to make the dogs more overpowered and have more health. So if I use some potions, it's kind of like dog armor. Okay, so we're going to make a little secret ladder system up here into the armadillo. Can he use ladders? No. All right, buddy, come on. Up the ladder. Come on. I believe in you. Come on. All right, fine. Be lazy. Come up this way. All right, good. Stay. Now we go dispenser, lever, and fill this thing up with tons of potions. All right, doggy, are you ready to be overpowered and armored? Sit and become OP. Become OP. Become OP. Become OP. I can't speak, but you know what I'm saying. You're now overpowered. And let's go test it out. Oh no, giant pit of lava. Whatever would happen if the dog went inside of it, but he has... Come on, it's for the video. Just do it. Yes, look, he's in and he's okay. Armored dog, check. Now get back up here, experimental dog. On second thought, you can stay down there. And just to top the build off, I built the armadillo's home, which is the savanna biome. Yeah, I just used path blocks for the savanna biome. That's the best I could come up with, but I think it looks pretty good. But ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final mob option. Introducing Mr. Penguin. And for this guy, I'm actually gonna build his habitat first, because what could possibly be cooler than making a giant icy snowy mountain? Oh, wait, I just realized our penguin Penguin's gonna be eaten by polar bears if they get added to the game. That would be kind of morbid. But carrying on, let's grab some snow and make a giant mountain. Hey, hey Mojang, in 1.21, can you make it so I can auto break glass like this? Thanks. All right, back to work. All right, little buddy is gonna go right over here, which means I gotta do a little more terraforming as I've done all episode today. Now we make the barricades. Aw, I gotta extend the land out even more. I hate terraforming so much. Okay, it's iceberg time. Okay, so I'm thinking we do the outside of like snow. Then as we get to the middle, we'll kind of build up and make like a little iceberg shape up here. I like it. And Mr. Penguin can go right up here on top. All right, penguin blocks. Weirdly enough, I think obsidian is actually a pretty good penguin color. Just combine that with some white wool and we should have a pretty good design for this bad boy. Wait, actually, I probably need some other blocks too. You, you, and you. All right, penguin time. So we're gonna make his little orange feet, make his giant white belly, and of course, give him his shiny black coat using obsidian. Well, obsidian's not black, but close enough. So I kind of see the vision, but it's definitely lacking some details right now. What block would go well with obsidian? Hmm. In the past, I have been called a maniac, but this time I think I'm on to something. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I think it's perfect. All right, do you mind? Oh, I'd prefer not to die today. 
bro. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. All right, let's smack some of these cherry wood logs on like the wing like this. And I'm also gonna sprinkle in a little bit of white concrete on his belly. Oh yeah, kids. That is why a little color variation here and there makes a big difference in your builds. Building tips with Farzy. And last but not least, we had to build the penguin's adorable little head. And these weird macaroni eyebrow things they have. He's perfect. But as far as his function goes, their only feature is supposed to make boats go faster. So I'm just going to put a boat there and call it a day. Hello, zombie. Yep, this was not part of the planned features. But okay, all three mobs are complete. But before I decide which mob I'm gonna vote for, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would blindfold myself and try and survive in a mine shaft for one whole day. And you guys just barely missed it, but it was close enough, so I'm gonna do it anyways. So off we go. We're just gonna need a clock and obviously a mine shaft, which should be around here somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, it is officially challenge time. So basically, I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes, which is the equivalent of one day in Minecraft. Then I'm gonna blindfold myself and try and survive without dying, because that's how survival works. Also, that means I don't even need a clock. I don't know why I brought this with me, because I'll be blindfolded. All right, let's go. Armor on, blindfold on, somehow get headphones in my ear. Okay, am I moving? I'm moving. Okay, let's do this thing. Timer, start. Okay, I hear wood. Now I hear stone. Okay, I need to get a pickaxe out so I can break blocks. Where's my pickaxe? Wait, is that it? That's a pickaxe. I don't hear sounds anymore. Am I stuck on something? I think I'm stuck. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't think this challenge through. I don't really know how to do anything right now. Okay, now I'm going straight. I can hear blocks moving. This is awesome. Uh-oh. I hear mobs. I need my sword. Where's my sword? This is an axe. That should be good. Uh -huh. Oh, I hear mobs. Uh, it's in front of me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, I don't know what's happening. Oh, I killed one. Are there more? I gotta eat. I gotta eat. How do I eat? How do I eat? Eat, 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 eat food. Uh, what is going on? Uh, they're still in front of me, but where are they? No. Oh. Nope, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I failed, I failed. I will not die to a creeper because I'm blindfolded. I'm sorry, I failed Bruh. the challenge. I'll do whatever you want. Nope, nope, nope. Get me out of here. Bye. Well, that was not great. So to make up for my sad excuse of a like challenge, I want you guys to comment your best like challenge ideas down below. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will pick my favorite and do it. Make it really scary and hard. I deserve that. Like the video. But okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to pick our favorite mob that we're gonna vote for at the mob vote. And I've officially decided that I'm gonna vote for... Eh... Ah, I can't choose. They're all so cute. But I do love the ocean, so I'm gonna vote for the Krabby Boy. Look how adorable he is with his big eyes and his giant belly. I love him. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you all vote for your favorite mob. But that being said, that's gonna be it from me. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. It's officially Halloween season, which means we gotta celebrate. So today, we're gonna build a witch city. City, fully decorated with festive Halloween blocks and tons of spooky details. All in Minecraft hardcore. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh no, I won't let it hit but okay, first up on the agenda, we have to go locate the witches, which would be, no pun intended, in the swamp biome, even though this one is really tiny and small. Eh, it'll probably work. All right, sweet, let's do it. I just gotta find a witch hut and we'll be all good. Hello, anybody home? Welp, nothing. Yes, witch hut. All right, perfect. Hello, my dear. How do you do? Hey, show some respect. It's Halloween. Let's get to work. So the first and most important part of any city is the protection of the citizens. So to do that, I did some massive terraforming and planned for some giant city walls. Yeah, that's looking good, right? For someone who's making a giant barricade for safety, I'm seeing a lot of mobs getting in right now. I'm doing this for your own safety. Stop resisting change. You know not what you do. Oh, this is going to be a long episode, isn't it? And for the wall material, I'm thinking a nice combination of spruce wood and a little bit of dark oak. Hey, 
And a little bit later, we have a giant swampy sphere. It looks pretty good to me, and it's definitely big enough, so... I think it's time for us to transform this place into a Halloween paradise. Come with me! So at this point, I had so many witch-themed ideas for our city. Things like a potion lab, a witch hat store, a cat sanctuary, and so many other spooky ideas. And of course, we're gonna be using a Halloween-themed block palette. So maybe like some spooky spruce wood? Yes. And maybe some orange blocks for like pumpkins, because... Halloween. I like the look of this. But I am gonna need a lot more materials, so I'm gonna take some of these and go get some more stuff. Hey, Broderick. Happy Halloween. Uh, where's your costume? <coughs> Wait, he's right. BRB. I paid $40 for this. I'm just gonna be an adventurer instead. Happy Halloween. But okay, first off, we're gonna make the witches' houses. Cause even though we're gonna have so many cool builds, they have to have a place to sleep and eat and stuff like that. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Why don't we start off with stilts? Cause we are in like this muddy, gross swamp. So we don't want the floors to be in the mud. So something kind of like this. Then the little floorboards here and walls. And most importantly, a nice big roof filled up with orange Halloween blocks. Hopefully it doesn't look stupid. And the verdict is not bad at all. But it could use a few more details here and there, so I'm gonna do that. Just a little bit of these stairs here and there to make it look kind of worn down and beaten down. After all, it's supposed to be a little bit spooky. Oh yeah, look how much better that is. That is so good now. So unbelievably witchy, it's perfect. But I do plan to have a lot of residents here, so we're gonna have to make a few more houses. Which means even more wood needed. There's gonna be a lot of chopping today. And as we build these wonderful witch houses, Please subscribe and hit the bell. Ermagur, we got houses. And they look really sick. I used some dark oak wood, some trap doors, some windows, really spruced it up. No pun intended because it's not spruce wood. But they look really, really sick. So sweet. But I still do want to add some small things outside the houses just to kind of make it feel more like a neighborhood. So perhaps a pumpkin patch? Oh, oh. Well, it was a cool idea in my head. But wait, I can fix this. A little bit of puzzle wouldn't hurt. And if we just find an ocean, sea pickles actually make a really good pumpkin stem. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I didn't think I'd be in the ocean for this video, but here we are. All right, sweet. Spooky. This also reminds me. I should probably make some roads for the place too. Oh, Halloween idea. What if we made the roads purple because purple is the next best Halloween color besides orange? That might look really cool. Oh, shoot. I'm out of fireworks. <laughs> well, we're still going to get purple blocks, but it may take a little bit longer. Unless... I'm a genius. Yes, sir. Okay, purple, purple, purple. What is purple? Yes. Uh-huh. And... Sensational. I love it. We're doing all these. Thoughts? This is very interesting and very unique, but I kind of like it. It fits the Halloween vibe. So strange, though. Like, what are these blocks, man? And from far away... Well, you can't really see it, but it looks cool to me, I think. Yeah, I like it. Next up on the agenda, we're gonna build the town a potion lab. Because witches do be concocting some potions from time to time. So, if we're gonna pull this thing off, we gotta make a quick pit stop first. We need brewing stands. After all, it is a potion lab. That's kind of how it works. I see a lot of mobs, but not any blazes. <laughs> oh, no, I won't. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I think that was a good idea? Hey, nether fortress. Excellent timing. Hello there. Please don't kill me. I have no totem. Thank you. And that should be good. Eh, why not one more? All right, now we're good. Oh, you know what? Don't mind if I do with some of these things. I like the look of this. Very spooky, if you ask me. Any chance I have any totems in here? I don't. Well, hopefully I don't die today. So we're gonna start off with our typical wooden building. And of course, the classic orange roof we have going on. And for the most important part, let's make a cool interior. Okay, so we'll put the brewing stands right here. Boom, boom, boom. Then of course, we need some cool kind of ingredients for the potions. What can go in a flower pot. You. And you guys. Oh, I have these things. Oh, that'd be so sick. Yes, yes, yes. Now we're just gonna add in some other random creepy details around the place. 
And I would say that looks pretty good. We got these barrels full of weird potion ingredients and tons of messy slabs and stuff because I can't think of a good reason why, but they just look really cool. Oh, wait a second. We should get mob skulls. That would fit in so sick with the spooky potion lab. So we just gotta wait for a thunderstorm, which might take a while. I'm gonna make myself comfortable right in here. And perfect. So yeah, we sat here for quite a long time until finally... Thunder, thunder, thunder! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ooh, yes, we got one. Don't die, I have no totem. Ooh. Okay, okay, give me the head and I'm out of here. Or we're gonna leave now, or we're gonna leave now, that's fine. That, oh, wait, wait, wait. Got it. Okay, let's get back to the build. And a boom, 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 and boom. Wait, boom, there we go. Sweet, this place looks sick. Now I just gotta stop back home and get some more totems. Now up to this point, the buildings were looking really, really cool, but I still feel like we were lacking some spooky Halloween decorations. So off I went to go figure it out. Okay, first up on the agenda, we're going down into the caves to find cobwebs. Because what's spookier than a spider's poop? Wait, is that what it is? I don't know. Ow. Aha, mine shaft. Hello there, my friend. How do I get you? That's not how I get you. Is it shears? Maybe. Yes. Sweet. I want all of you and I'll put them all over the city. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Stop. Happy Halloween to you too. I'm just gonna break this. Ooh. You know what? Glowberries might look really sick too. Yeah. Orange Halloween mini pumpkins. I love it. Oh, and a bat. Spooky. Dripstone. Spore blossoms. Diamonds. Okay, not part of it, but I just want them. And last but not least, I want to add ghosts. I was on Google looking for Halloween ideas for Minecraft, and I saw someone use wool to make, like, a floating ghost kind of thing, and I want to try and do that. Okay, I need one of those things to make banners. What's it called? A loom. That. And I need to make this thing into a, a ghost. How do I do this? I'm, I'm confused. Okay, banners. Black ink. And now I just gotta figure out how to make this look like a ghost. This might take a while. And what do we think, sad boy creeper? Yeah, I totally did this and didn't use a YouTube tutorial. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go decorate. So, so, so much better. Like, just look at this place. We got our cobwebs, we got our boulders, our floating ghosts. And I even have one more secret idea to share. Tee <laughs> hee. What if we filled in all these craters with lime glass to make it look kind of like a spooky, sludgy... Pond. And you may be thinking, Farsi looks pretty cool, right? Wrong, because actually, if you go underneath and do multiple layers of this, you get this really cool fog effect that makes it look way spookier and creepier. And voila. Oh, this place is coming together so well. But okay, let's get back to making some more of our witch-themed buildings. And my amazing idea is to make a hat store for the witches. Because after all, who doesn't love their amazing, iconic hats? I want one. So the plan here is actually really simple. Simple. We're just gonna get a whole bunch of leather and make black hats, then design those in cool witch patterns and stuff. Do I have any leather? Oh, I have a little bit. How many hats can this make me? Nine? That's actually not terrible. Yeah, that'll work. Now for the black dye, which I somehow misplaced already. Un momento, por favor. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Happy Halloween. Do you got any gifts for me? Oh no, he despawned! So tragic. I have no idea why I'm making all these noises, to be honest with you guys. All right, black hats, check. And now it's time to transform these hats into witch hats by using my armor trim museum. Okay, what do we have in the chest? We have a couple. That's, that's actually pretty good. And maybe we take some purple, like some amethyst, and we go boom, boom, boom. Boom, and there's our first witch hat. And let's see how it looks. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Absolutely amazing. Let's do this many times over. Okay, hats down. Now we just need some armor stands, aka hat racks, to display the hats. And to make that, you need smooth stone, this stuff, and sticks. Do I know Minecraft? Am I good at this game? Aha! I am. I'm so smart and amazing. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, you guys stay here for now while I build. Operation Hat Store is a go.
Okay, cool. Oh, I really contemplated making like purple leather armor for like the witch's robe, but it would just take so much and I am lazy. So I'm gonna say we did a good enough job over there. Now, after filling in the rest of the roads, there was one other big building that I really wanted to add. A cat sanctuary. Because if you know anything about witches, they always have a black cat with them for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why either. But it's Halloween, so we're doing it. First step, we need fish. Hello, sorry, just gotta tame my kitties. Oh, wait, these are cooked. I can't use cooked. I guess I'll use the shovel instead. Oh my gosh, there's so many fish in this lake. Making my life very easy, boys. I appreciate it. All right, now that we have the fish, we can go over to the nearby village and try and find a black cat somewhere in here. I see a cat, but you're not the kind I want. You? No. Is this gonna take a long time? Something tells me yes. So I hopped around from village to village looking for that mythical black cat. Absolutely no luck, and I'm getting kind of frustrated. Wait, big brain alert. I'm like 95% sure that black cats spawn at witch hut so there should be a black cat somewhere around here right come on kitty where are you i know you're here i'm like so sure of this i don't care what the haters say i know he's out here somewhere i can just feel it i told you i told you i told you i told you i knew it to be true he exists hello my friend eat the fish no where'd you go where'd you go here i want to be your friend and you're really rare so please don't run away eat it yes we have the black cat follow me this way Okay, you stay here. Now we're gonna go find you a mate so I can breed you. Ow. Aha. Uh -huh. Please, 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 please. Yes. Okay, good. And now. Bada bing. Bada boom. Come on, make more black cats for me. Yes. Oh, and he's so adorable. Don't fall in the hole, please. Hello, little friend. Have some fish. Success. Oh, well, this is kind of awkward. I don't need you anymore. Oh, no. He despawned. Oh, where, where did he go? He's gone forever. <laughs> All right. Let's go build ourselves a cat sanctuary. However, we're going to do that. I don't tend to build these kind of things often. And about one hour later, we have the cat sanctuary, which is basically just a little house with a Halloween carpet and black cats inside. Not too much to it, but it fits the witch vibe. So yeah. Well, cool. This place is looking really well put together right now. I love progress. But before we progress on any further, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I'd pick a random challenge from the comments and do that challenge today. And you guys just barely missed it, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I'm a nice guy. And out of all the challenge ideas I saw, my favorite, which is the most fitting one, is to go into my old haunted house from last Halloween and play the zombie mini game. If you guys are a newer fan here, just watch and enjoy the magic. So basically, we go down here and there's a zombie spawner and zombie try and kill me and I try and not die. So I say we do it. Let's put all our junk in here and we're gonna use no armor and no totem either. And let's set the timer for one minute. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, actually, I think I need like something because my fist ain't doing it. How about one wooden sword and like seven pieces of bread? Okay, let's do that. All right, here we go. Gotta get in, gotta get in, gotta get in. This is the most important part, getting in and getting safe. Okay, we're here. Armor, he dropped armor. Already a good start. All right, guys, the goal is to kill the zombies and get their loot and gear up until I need to leave. Okay, so far, nothing. I feel like I should up the timer a little bit. I say we go to two minutes. Careful, I'm getting cornered. Okay, good, 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 good. Gotta eat some food. I don't know how I got a door, but I guess I can use that if I want to. Oh, oh iron zombie, iron zombie, iron zombie. Ooh, come on, give me something. Ah, you're the worst. Oh, baby zombie, the worst. This is the boss. Ooh. Oh, we're so good. We're so good at this game. And time. Okay, that was... Really easy. Great to success. I thought that was going to be so much harder than it actually was. But all right, challenge completed. But that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will try and survive in the void. This may be the riskiest challenge of my entire series, but I say we do it. So like the video. But getting back to work, I think all the main buildings in our city are all done, which means all I really got to do now is sprinkle in some spice into all these just boring old grassy areas and just kind of make the whole place look a little more complete. So first off, I definitely got to finish off all these roads. And I really hope I don't run out of blocks here because I don't want to go all the way back home anymore. So many wasted fireworks. Next up, I kind of wanted to add in some more red because I just love how these vines look. So I was thinking if I pop into the nether, what if we use some of this creepy nether brick and made like some boulders or some just some creep? Hold on. Oh, that was so sick. That was so sick. That was so sick. I lost my train of thought because that was so sick. You get the idea. 
swag. And last but not least, I left a little area here for one very special build, and that is a classic Halloween graveyard. But for that, we're gonna need some stone and some gravel, which are both right over here. Ow. Boom, 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 boom. And a boom, 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 boom. Boom. Do you guys think I'm musically gifted? No. Please say yes. No. And there we have it. I threw in some iron bars, some tombstones, and a little bit of ketchup or strawberry jam, whatever you prefer. Great success. Now let's just throw in the jack-o'-lanterns and release the witches. How do I actually get the witches to spawn? Is it like a light level thing? Should I scrap the torches in here? Oh, can you imagine if I built this whole thing and they couldn't even spawn here? I'd be so sad. All right, spawn. Wait, it's daytime. BRB. Okay, nighttime. Where the witch is at? Um, I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> okay, time for plan B. Okay, plan B is terrible. Don't want to do it anymore. <gasps> Wait, there is a witch in here. It works. I popped my totem for no reason, but I don't care. We got a witch. I'm stuck. No, 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 no. I've trapped myself. I gotta go. All right, my witch city is complete. So on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, happy Halloween. Winter is approaching, which means it's about to get cold. So me, being a very festive individual, I want to build a cozy log cabin in Minecraft Hardcore. So let's grab some food. Thank you. Some fireworks for fast transportation. And let's go build something cozy. Off we go. So in order to nail this build idea, I was in search of a snowy forest. Because what's a better cabin location than that? And side note, I also moved to a new apartment. So if things look a little bit different to you, that is why. Oh, baby, this looks perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, why do I have no totem? Uh, well, I just got here, but I probably should go back and be safe and not lose the entire world. BRB. And now we're good to go. I'm looking for the perfect spot, which actually is right here. It's flat, it's snowy, it's perfect. Let's begin the terraforming. AKA chop down all the trees. I do love nature. And as I continue demolishing the earth, please subscribe and hit the bell. Please, I'm desperate. And a little bit late. We have a beautiful massive land fit for a cabin and apparently flaming skeletons everything I've ever asked for So my plan for this thing isn't just to build some tiny little cabin rather We're gonna make a gigantic cabin mansion and of course tons of other cool details around the area But okay first off, let's make ourselves a dirt outline So I guess we'll start here and go this way and then turn it over here Yes, then turn it out this way and wrap it around here and yep that should work just fine for me i like it but okay with the outline out of the way we gotta go get ourselves some materials and obviously for a cabin design i'm thinking a whole lot of kinds of wood so like spruce wood a little bit of oak wood all right relax relax you're unloved. No one likes you. And of course, some of this lovely dark oak wood. Oh, I love that it's in groups of four. It makes it so easy to collect. Okay, so we have three kinds of wood, but I kind of want to get a fourth kind just for some extra texture. Because, you know, I'm like the pro here and I know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, what kind of wood can I mix in here? No, no, absolutely no. Huh, would mangrove wood look cool? I mean... It kind of looks like it fits. Like, ignore the red. Just, like, look at it for the log. That actually kind of fits in really well. I think I'm gonna take a risk and go for it. And if it looks terrible, I'll just blame you guys for listening to me. I'm terrible at building. Okay, so we're gonna go, let's say, dark oak logs on the side. And we're gonna strip them, because it looks better that way. And then here on the inside, we're gonna do a bunch of spruce wood, also stripped, because, once again, just looks superior. And every so often, I'll mix in some oak logs, not stripped, so it kind of blends in with the sprucey stuff. Yeah. I'm terrible at explaining things, but you see the vision. It's gonna look sick. Wait for it. Now we try the mangrove wood. Let's see if I'm a genius. Eee? I mean, I may be kind of biased, but that looks sick. This actually fits in like perfectly. Whoever thought of this is a genius and it's so amazing and handsome and all that fun stuff. Yeah, but yeah, let's take that design and keep doing it more and more. We want this cabin to be giant.
Why are there so many zombies on me? I'm just trying to build a cozy cabin. I ain't trying to harm anybody. Well, okay. We have a what? I gotta call the exterminator, man. We have a wonderful foundation now. Like, look at this thing. We got a single decker building here, double decker building here. It's gonna be amazing. Thing. Did I miscount the blocks here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, I did. Well, that's awkward. One second, please. A little longer than a few minutes later. And much better. But obviously, this is no cabin yet. It's just a giant wood wall. So I want to add in some cool details, like some windows and like a patio and stairs and all that fun jazz. But first, I got to go get a lot more wood because this took a lot of wood math oh, i am curious up here on the iceberg can i like see the mansion from here oh that actually is gonna be a sick view oh baby i'm excited oh i'm actually really close to my christmas area oh, i love this place i got all my festive builds and most importantly a nether portal all right we're in need of some wood and that is exactly why i have a giant tree farm here for moments like today hello there my boy i've missed you and the farm works very simple i take a sapling and i put sapling there and i flick lever and and TNT explodes, but nothing's happening. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. I need to keep placing down more saplings. I'm smart, I swear. No. And let's see what the haul is. Oh, baby. That's enough to feed a small family who eats wood for some reason. But unfortunately for us both, my tree farm does not allow me to get to mangrove wood, so we gotta go on a very small adventure to get some. And lucky for me, I have another highway to get to the swamp. Follow me this way. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, hello. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But all right, the swamp is right over here. Now give me all this beautiful red wood and don't ask questions. And check. I'll catch you losers later. All right, let's make some details. That was a great tongue roll, by the way. Okay, first off, we're gonna make some windows. So we're gonna take a whole bunch of, let's say, spruce planks and turn these into stairs. And we break out these four blocks right here, put some stairs here and here, and we have a window, which means we need glass too. Un momento, por favor. Side note, why is there a beach in the middle of my forest? I don't know, but very convenient. Oh, I need a furnace too. I am so unprepared right now for all this. And as all that smelts up, we can also throw in some cool details like some stairs in the corners and some trap doors along the sides to make it look a little more structured. Perfect. And for my own little personal touch, a little mini garden right here in the window. Bada bing, bada boom. That's not, I wanted, I wanted the tall one. Um, Minecraft, can I not get the tall? I've been playing this game for over 10 years and this is new information to me. Wait, better idea. Come on, baby, where are you? Aha, I want berry bushes. Ow, ow, ow. And a boom, and a boom, and a boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Like, come on, how sick does that look? That's amazing. Now we simply spread our artwork far and wide, which is just a fancy way of saying do manual labor for a couple hours. BRB. All right, we got our windows, our little details here and there, and the whole thing is looking pretty sweet from above. I did, however, choose to not include gardens up here because I didn't think it would look weird, but I kind of wonder if I can add some other small details here, like some little sticking out logs with like a trap door on top or something, like that in its place. Okay. Yeah, I like it. But of course, now we're missing the most obvious part of the entire build, which is the roof. Okay, so this is gonna be a very interesting boy. We're gonna make a smaller roof here on this one decker building. So we're gonna go dark oak stairs here, then on the inside spruce. And let's see how this looks. Is this the middle? I think that's that's the middle, right? So I go there, okay. Not bad so far. I don't know why I built windows here. They're not even gonna be exposed. I'm not the brightest apple in the bunch or whatever. The, the saying is. Uh, that was ironic. Okay, looking good. Now we're gonna die. <laughs> no, now we're gonna go to the double decker roof up here and make the same kind of roof, but go the opposite way. So it'll go like this way kind of thing. And if done correctly, it should look amazing. Not the segue I planned, but I'm in a predicament. <laughs> Okay, there you have it. Looks amazing. Looks sick. I need to go get more totems and more food and not die. Okay, bye. But carrying on, I spent the rest of my night prettying up the roof with tons of added details, including a quick pit stop at the clay factory so I could make a brick chimney. Oh, I love this factory so much. My only fear is that I'm going to mine all the clay in here one day and have to move the factory somewhere else, but that is a problem for tomorrow, not today. But what is a problem for today is my health. I just 
one clay. That's all I want. It shouldn't be this difficult. I blame you. I'm going back. But in the end, everything came out really good. Well, all right, here we are. We got these little mini roofs I made, which look very interesting and cool. We got this big old chimney here in the back, which is definitely a unique shape, but I kind of like them. And most importantly, if we come around here to the front door, we actually have a roof now and, well, tons of mobs in here too. But the point is it is secure and safe emphasis on safe. Now, at this point in the video, you'd say, let's go make the inside of the cabin, but I have plans for something far greater. We are going to turn the entire surrounding area into an epic, amazing, mind-blowing campground. Come with me, we have much work to do. So, the first thing we had to do was go get some campground inspiration, because I ain't ever been camping in my life. So, I went on Google and began immersing myself in the culture. All I see is tents and trucks. But after after taking my vitamins and actually using my brain for once, I had some pretty good ideas. Okay, so the first and most important thing on a campground is a campfire. So we're gonna need a campfire, obviously, which should be in here. We're gonna need some logs to sit on to roast our s'mores. Then just a few more blocks for some added detail. Let's do it. Wait, I probably need more food. How have I already gone through an entire stack of chicken today? Sorry, Broderick. Here, have a steak. I think he likes it. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, this place is so scenic when you fly into it. Okay, Okay, campfire time. Let's put it right here. This looks good. Fire, check. Logs around the area. Annoying trees deforested. And a few minutes later, we now have the coziest campground in the entire forest. Well, the only one in the entire forest, but it looks pretty good. I like it. Now thinking logically, if we're gonna have a campfire, we also need firewood. So I think we should make a lumber yard out here for all our giant tree needs. So me being a professional builder, I know there are two main aspects to making a really good lumber yard. One being the actual wood because, you know, lumber kind of in the name. So just like some big piles like this. But two is the small little builder tricks to make the whole thing come to life. I'm looking for a mine shaft. It'll all make sense later. Oh, careful. Oh, hello, lush cave. Not what I had planned, but pretty cool. But is there a mine shaft down here? We need rails. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. Aha, mine shaft. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, rails, very important. Well, I probably should pick them up, shouldn't I? That would help. Now we can take our rails and tie up our wood like we're some big burly lumber why is this why is that so dark that's really weird well ignoring that it still looks really cool we also can throw in some slabs some trap doors and some unlit campfires then just make a whole bunch of them and the next thing you know you have an amazing lumber yard oh wait i forgot something what is happening okay ready stone cutters to look like saws to chop the wood dude what <laughs> What is going on right now? Don't die! Okay, you guys get the idea. It's sick. It's amazing. I need to go heal up now. Oh my gosh, so much near death today. I don't like this. Or do I? But carrying on, we had to think of some more campground ideas. So I built some tents with beds in them for the campers to sleep in, an absolutely amazing ice fishing pond for a food supply, and of course, pathways to connect the whole thing to the main cabin. I don't know why, but this combo of granite and coarse dirt just really tickles my brain in a good way. I love it. Wait, we're missing something. I don't think the cabin has running water or plumbing, so we need an outhouse. Okay, ready? We go item frame. We turn this leather helmet into a black helmet. Then we go boom and we turn it and outhouse. Absolutely amazing, just like your boy. Comparing yourself to an outhouse is a weird flex, but I'll take it. But before we carry on with the rest of this amazing build, I gotta go take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would try and fly into the void. A dangerous proposition indeed. But unfortunately, you guys did not hit the like goal. Not. I mean, I'm still gonna do it anyways because it just sounds really fun. But next time you guys don't hit the like goal, there's gonna be consequences. Very harsh and rash consequences. Yeah, you better like the video. I'm telling you. But okay, it's void time. So this should be pretty simple. I just gotta take my elytra with fireworks and fly into the void and just try not to, you know, break my elytra and fall to my death. So yeah, let's go try it. What could possibly go wrong? So let's hop down here into my end portal. And here we are, the void. All right, we're good. We're good. Don't be nervous. 
Harvest, just jump down to fly, take some damage, and come back up. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Ugh. All right, we're gliding. We're safe. We're okay. We're doing just fine. Imagine I just die instantly and I lose the world. That would really stink. Okay, we're getting low. I'm getting really afraid right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was so fast. No, okay, okay, okay. Uh. It wasn't long enough. I gotta do it again. Like, will my totem pop or am I just gonna spontaneously combust down there? All right, let's go again. Careful, careful. Oh, oh, okay, no, 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 no. I give up. I'm a baby. Challenge over. I did it. You guys don't even deserve it. I don't care. We're good. Challenge complete. And that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll do whatever the top comment says. So like the video. But carrying on, now that the outside was looking really complete, it was time to crack on to the interior of the cabin. First up on the agenda was to clean up the entire room by putting in some floors and doing a whole lot of mob proofing. I totally just realized I didn't fill in the side of the roof yet. I should probably do that. Then we simply started filling up the place with cabin themed accessories like a giant fireplace, a master bedroom, and an amazing kitchen. Aw, oh, you know, it'd be so funny. Have you guys ever seen those like bear rug things in log cabins? What if we made one of those with like Minecraft mob skulls and made like mob carpet rugs? It's gonna look so stupid, but let's do it. Okay, the question is, do I have any mob skulls to spare? Because that's kind of important for this. Please, 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 please. Oh wait, dragon head. Perfect. So essentially, we'll just take like some black carpet like this and we'll kind of make a little dragon body replica like this and then stick the head on the front. This is this is so stupid. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing ever, but we're so doing it because why not? But I also need more than just one mob head, so I'm gonna go steal some down here. Anyone remember this? My carnival where I shoot the dog in the water and he falls in the water. It's very self-explanatory. <laughs> but look, I'm winning. I'm winning all these prizes, so now I can take some of these because I won, right? That's definitely how it works. All right, come on. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go back to your place. Thank you. All right, here we go. Right in front of the fireplace. We got the skeleton carpet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A zombie carpet, which will be very colorful and elaborate like this. <laughs> The creeper carpet, which will be very simple, just like that. And last but not least, the big and grand ender dragon carpet that we already talked about. And the final product is... This is the worst idea in the history of Minecraft. <laughs> wait, wait, I can make it worse. What if we put them on the wall and give them antlers and now we have mounted mob heads in our cabin? I'm way too entertained by this right now. If you guys wanted to unsubscribe, I'd get it. I wouldn't judge you for it at all. But oh my gosh, this cabin is sick. Now at this point, the cabin was basically all done. So all I had to do was add in some final details to tie the whole thing together. And bada bing, bada boom, the build was complete. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, that is it. Our cabin is officially complete, and it may be the coziest one in Minecraft hardcore history. Wait, where's my dragon carpet? Ah! Well, that was a bad idea. Be gone. Don't touch my cabin. Get back here. Ah! Okay, you can stay. It's fine. As a matter of fact, it's your cabin now. I'll be leaving. See ya. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.